Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and Harrison Ford is about to ruin Indiana Jones again for the second time. So we decided to go back and revisit Raiders of the Lost Ark and talk about why we love it on this episode of Talking About Tapes. Talk, 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 talking about tapes. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Hello Jug. Hello. <laughs> Hello, nice Doug. How Hi. are you? Nice Doug. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy you're here back in the oh. store. Uh, this wonderful store. <laughs> Remember last time you were here mm -hmm, and you were mm -hmm, like, Tony, mm -hmm. I thought I was going to the basement of your house. <laughs> like, oh, what an idiot. Clearly, this is a professional store. Set. I was shocked. Yes. Still yes. am, honestly. And it's still a very <laughs> impressive store set. It's uh -huh, definitely not uh -huh. the basement of a house. No. Hello, Johanna. You don't live in your dad's basement? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I know what we're talking about. Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I wrote that on my marquee box that has always been here. You can spell? It only had two R's, so I had to put a P and a seven together oh to make God. that one. I can't even see that. No. Yeah, it's like Raid Psers of the Lost Ark. It's it's flawless, honestly. They only it's give fine. you two of each letter. Like, can you give us three of each letter? Anyway. You can't just order more? Yeah, like, you can just get say, more letters. I didn't know at the time. I just bought this at Walmart, and then I opened you it. You just said this was always here. I mean, you're a right, liar. You're always you're here. A liar. It was always here. <laughs> you really tried to move beyond the basement thing, and you can't do it. <laughs> it's not a basement. It's very impressive. No, no, I know. We're set. in the studio. studio yep. said this is a the real studio. store. I'm sorry. It's a real store. <laughs> this it's is a real store. <laughs> so. Indiana Jones, uh, we all saw the trailer for the new one, I assume, right? Yeah. Where they, Didn't I watch it with you? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, where they lazily pasted a face on a stuntman, and it wasn't perfectly matched to the actor. And I was like, wow, that looks terrible. Let's talk about some good Indiana Jones movies leading up to what will probably be the worst Indiana Jones movie. And I know people are telling me. I mean, me, I don't know. Could it, it, probably? Possibly? Possibly? Maybe the worst. I don't know. Listen, I didn't see Crystal Skull. Oh, Maybe I no. shouldn't even be here. Because oh. I, no, I heard about it. Yeah. Somebody said something, blah, 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 aliens. And I went, well, that can't be true. We liked and then it at I the heard, time, but yeah. I heard that it was true. And I was like, I'm never watching we'll, this. We'll eventually review it. Okay. It has a decent, like, first 30 or 40 minutes. I know the nuclear bomb bothers people. When they get There's to, so much ridiculous shit in Indiana Jones in yeah, general. Like, when, that bomb did not bother me. When they get to the jungle, it just goes off the fucking rails. But anyway, anyway. Uh, we're revisiting Raiders of the Lost Ark. Just Raiders of the Lost Yay. Ark. Not in, in, despite what Amazon Prime wants you to think, it is not actually called Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's just Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, wait. What? I didn't even they, notice they that. They do? Yeah, they just they call it Indiana Jones. Oh, I watched this on Paramount Plus. So I it's don't where know. they went back and rebranded yeah, stuff. Say, that's what I did too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, the name looks right to me, but maybe yeah. it's like it's it's like one of those false memory. It's right. like kind of like now people are like, oh yeah, Star Wars: A New Hope. Like no, it was just called Star Wars for a long time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this was speaking of Star Wars, much like Star Wars, this was derivative of older action serials. It's sure, like okay, we had sure. our sci-fi fantasy, now we have our action adventure. Mm -hmm. Um, but of course they were doing what they did with Star Wars. We're like, Hey, we're going to take this old funny, like weird thing. And we're going to make it bigger with more expensive sets and, uh, technology. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty great. I think it worked just as well as Star Wars. And this was directed by Steven Spielberg. And now they're still taking an old, funny, weird thing, but it's Harrison Ford, and they're putting it no, in no, the new movie. No, no, now they're just... That's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem with Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Like, well, now, you, now it's younger people just recreating Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark, where those were derivative of multiple things. Yes. Now you're just mining from one thing. But anyway, uh, Steven Spielberg directed this. He wasn't originally going to be the director. Mm. Someone else was, and I forgot to write his name down, but I'll put his name here. <laughs> Uh, and he couldn't get out, get out of some movie, but it was written by Lawrence Kasdan who had worked on empire strikes back. Sure. And I believe he's working on the new Indiana Jones. Joanna, I think his son is also writing the new Indiana Jones. They were such a good team on solo, a star Wars story. Weren't they? I mean, he's talking directly to you now, not me at all. So watch our worst know. star <laughs> Wars movie. episodes. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, the behind the scenes for this is pretty fun. Like his name was Indiana Smith originally. <laughs> I mean, it's just a generic. And Spielberg, <laughs> Spielberg was like, that sucks. It's going to remind people of some Clint Eastwood character that no one probably even knows anymore. Um, and he, Clint Eastwood was actually one of the inspirations for the character. 
It was Clint Eastwood, a uh, Japanese like character from a mm-hmm. movie, and James Bond. Obviously, there's a lot of James Bond sure. with this. Uh, and you know, much like James Bond, they should have just kept recasting the character, <laughs> right? Because it's you don't want to see an elderly James Bond. Am I right? That'd be stupid. That'd be very stupid. Um, yeah, they would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, fuck. Not I mean, the, Roger Moore was already elderly when he appeared the first Ro- time. <laughs> Roger Moore's last movie as James Bond, I think famously he was like, he asked his actress how old she was. And then he realized, I think it's like he could have fathered like her mother. And he's like, I'm too old for this. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of done. I'm done. I'm done with this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, famously, Tom Selleck was going to be in this. He was going to be our Indiana Jones, and he couldn't get out of Magnum P.I. I got to tell you, not not bad. I mean, I, yeah. I would have totally taken it. Yeah. In, in hindsight, sure. You you can't replace Harrison Ford, but if we never saw Harrison Ford and I just saw Tom Selleck, I think it would be okay. Yeah, I think it would have been fine. Yeah. It's kind of like, I would love to see the audition tape if it exists. We ended up doing a screen test with uh, Tom Selleck and Sean Young, and it was really, really good. I mean, they were both terrific actors, and it turned out really well. Look, I did what I did. I don't expect you to be happy about it, but maybe it can do us both some good. Why start now? Just shut up. Shut up and listen to me. Now, I need that piece your father had. Have you ever seen the audition tape of uh, Kurt Russell's Han Solo? Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's pretty (laughs) good. I'm like, like, I kind of would have really liked that. I kind of... They say Christopher Walken audition for Han Solo, and I'm like, I, I've never found that footage. Obviously, there was Kevin Spacey doing his uh, bit, pretending to be that. That didn't work out. Uh, but I would love to see Han Solo being uh, sure. Christopher Walken as Han Solo. I like need that now. You kind of need it. I'm like I it's got to it. exist, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah. So when did you first see this movie? I don't remember. That's it's, the thing. I was it's so, just always been there. Yeah. It's just always been there. I think I was probably just a little bit too young to go to the theater when mm. it was in the theater. I'm significantly older than both of you. <laughs> um, well, no, like apparently. 60. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. All right. You know what? I was um, rewatching the private young. parts episode, and both yeah. of them were making fun of how I was aging poorly, and they were unaware of your guys' <laughs> jokes. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're talking to two dudes in their mid forties, and you know, um, no, I don't. I don't remember when I first saw it. No, I had not seen this in such a long time. Really? And I mean, we'll talk about the other two films that are worth anything in this series, of yeah. course. Um, this is the one I've seen the least. Yeah, and Same. it's probably been fifteen years since I'd seen this movie. Really? Before I watched it last night. Yeah. You haven't rewatched wow. it? Wow. I really haven't. No. You can go back to that Indiana Jones well I, once in a while? I don't. There are certain movies that I revisit over and over and over again. Yeah. And I think I, once anything gets beyond an hour and a half, I'm like, you know what? It's good. <laughs> I've seen it. It's fine. I um okay. when did you first see it? Do you remember? I was young. Yeah. I don't remember. So I don't know, maybe you have the same experience as me. So I I've talked about this off camera, but um Last Crusade comes out in eighty nine. Mm-hmm. I see that first because it's playing on cable and whatnot. It's the new one. I am unaware of what Indiana Jones is. I'm like, this is a fun movie. And you're child, like, oh, action adventure. Yeah. And then for some reason, Temple of Doom was just on TV (laughs) all the time. Uh, Constant. Constantly. Constant. But for some reason, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I could never, like, unless I rented it, it was just never on TV. So, yeah, I have seen it. Well, other than Crystal Skull, I've seen this one the least. Um, I think my first exposure to like the ball and everything was the show at uh, Fuck You. I'm calling it MGM Studios. <laughs> I, I don't even know what Hollywood it's Studios. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck you, MGM Studios. I'm like, wow, that looks Great. awesome. Yeah. But then I like I hadn't seen Raiders of the Lost Ark yet. So I was thinking, they're like, oh, yeah, the ball from the movie. And I only seen the two movies. I'm like, what ball? What right. is this ball that you guys are talking yeah. about? Uh, but eventually I, I that, saw it. I think that is something worth noting is you don't need to watch the first one yep. to watch the second one or to watch the third one. Well, the second one's technically a prequel. Uh, well, right. Exactly. Yeah. But there's no, there's no 
through line, honestly. Yeah, because like, yeah, they were based off him yeah. and uh, some side characters, of course. Yeah. But yeah, because the, they were based off action serials. Yeah, where exactly. like, yeah, sure, like week to week. Well, right. It's like, hey, come back next week for the next part of the story. But then there would be like different adventures. Yeah. And like they never really referenced the old one. I went back. Well, I mean, and, um, then they changed it because then they have, you know, this and then there's Crystal Skull. They actually bring somebody back. So, yes. Yeah. Well, that's probably Crusade, the only reason brought, you'd have to watch it. Yeah. And Last Crusade, they brought back some people. Was it the monkey? Did they bring, the, <laughs> yes, no, they bring it back to life? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's Alfred Molina. <laughs> no. Um, okay. And it's fun great, to watch. Honestly. It's fun to watch some old uh, action serials. I was watching them a while back because I remember. When we did the ones for rental reviews, uh, James did like a montage of like the specific serials they took for these oh, movies. Oh, okay. And a, a while back, I was watching a serial of the Phantom. Oh, I've only seen that in uh, the, MST3K. The wonderful K Billy. Oh, oh, I was gonna oh, say I you thought, need to get Billy Zane here. I thought you meant the Billy Zane movie. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I saw that. Who didn't? Well, obviously, who didn't just flock to the well, every everyone Billy in Zane. the mid nineties? They were all watching the Phantom, and they were all going, "We got to slam evil yep. Phantom." Yep. We we're all Phantom. We freaks. wanted the Phantom and the Shadow, and that's all we yeah. wanted. <laughs> and the city, it. the city of Philadelphia, they made like a minor league hockey team. They're like, "We got to call it the Phantom." Yeah, the Phantoms, yeah. The exactly. Phantoms after Billy Zane. I'm sure that's why they call. It that. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, I went back and I watched an old Phantom serial, and I think they did have like a rope bridge thing, which comes back in the next movie. So yeah, this was taking all that stuff from those old movies and just making it bigger and better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's just jump. The into thing I was so it. taken with this time is just the amount of just different action sequences that keep you going well, yeah. throughout. Because between there, they're like exposition dump, exposition yeah. dump, great. And kids, I they don't care. Yeah. I didn't care as a kid about anything in the university. Well, this this could have been broken up on. as like an action serial. Like sure. next yeah. week, he's going to fight a guy on a plane. Yep. And then the next week, he's going to drive a truck. And then after that, he's going to be on a boat. Like right. it is set up like a serial. It's just in between the action, there's like a st overarching story. Yes. Uh, to circle back to Disney stuff real quick, have you been to Disneyland, either of you? No. no. So I'm the only one who's actually been on the Indiana Jones ride. What is that? What do you do on that? It's awesome. Oh. Um, there's a lot of, it, it's not, um, yeah, it's more uh, Raiders and Temple of Doom, mm -hmm. but uh, you're basically in just a car. Okay. And it just moves around, and there's a ball you end up having to drive away from, and there's a bunch of stuff. It's like, um, how often is, it, is he running into balls? Like, is it a ride, ride, yeah. or are you um, just sitting, moving? Is your seat just moving? I mean, you go fast, screen? but no, no, it's a ride, ride. Oh, okay. You're like right, inside okay. stuff. Right, right. I forget what it's called. It's like Temple something or lost something. I'm gonna I, say I don't Temple remember, of Doom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wish. Well, no, I'm, um, but it, it's an awesome ride. Okay. I'm gonna look so up. Good. I'm gonna look up the video. Cause I'm never going to Disneyland. Like it's five really five. far away. It's really far away. And also I, I was. every time I've been to California, I've never once even thought of going to Disneyland. No. I'm like, no, I'm good. There's a few things That's to do I'm there here. besides Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, my last California trip, everyone knows how that went. I yeah. got a little too high. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was real. Candy. It was I, regular well, high candy. on chocolate. Yeah. Oh no no. Of course. Too much chocolate. Isn't that what you're, you're supposed lying. to do when you take lying. California trips? Which actually, um, good thing we brought this up. Uh, I will be at the Dick Show WATP live show crossover. Are you going to be there too? I don't know. <laughs> they're they're coming to town, and you're that not means no. <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I, I held out hope to be like, well, maybe I'll. No, I've thought about it, but that's as far as it goes. All right, well, I don't do things. You're lucky I came to this <laughs> rental store today All right, well, to uh, hang out with you. Well, fuck you, Doug. Uh, I will be at the Dick Show WATP live show. Johanna, I'm going to be introducing the show once again. Oh, you're going to be, you're not just there in attendance. I, I, I basically, Carl called me out. I basically invited myself to the show. And, uh, and Tony from Hack the Movies has already announced that he's going to like redeem himself. I'm like, well, I don't remember inviting Tony from Hack the Movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Tony. You can be there. Okay. I am going to introduce the show and I'm going to get it right this time. I kind of want to go just to see you introduce and then just leave. Carl Digavino oh, no, been making fun let me of just my. Just do something quick here. <laughs> Remind me to invite myself 
to Carl's <laughs> show in Philadelphia. I'm just going to message Nick and be like, hey, can I just come to like embarrass a fuck I basically, I basically, I invited myself. I'm like, I'm going to introduce the show and I'm going to do it right this time. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to zone out. I'm going to say everyone's name and bring them up on the stage. I'm going to get it right this time. Uh -huh. Get Tony to hide no, no, to introduce no. and take that Make job. Make edible. Right. No. <laughs> so I will be there April 20 something. I'll leave a graphic on Send that. him wrong dates. So he shows up. <laughs> At World Cafe Live, it's going to be there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, uh, back to this. Let's get into this movie. Mm -hmm. Opens up with the Paramount Mountain dissolving into an actual mountain. Great. I love it. Anytime they do those stupid things with the logos. Yes. I said stupid things. I meant great things yes. with the logos. I love it. It's, it's when, just so simple and just so satisfying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who's they ruin the, it later Who's the on. one that holds the, uh, uh, the little torch? What, what what company is that? The woman who holds the oh, torch? Oh, uh, Columbia TriStar? Yeah. 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 And there was one where she danced before the movie. Oh, there yeah. There's a couple. There's really one where she's bad. like fighting people. Yes. There's a couple of them. I love it. I'm a sucker for that nonsense. And of course, Eight Crazy Nights. It's the one character from the movie. <laughs> You're right. Yes. But this is classy. Yeah. Say. It's classic. I love the whole dissolve. Um... <laughs> Uh, I love that you don't really see Indiana Jones too much. They're not focusing on him. It's an amazing reveal. And again, having not seen this for so long, I love not knowing so many things that were happening in this movie. Yeah. But just yeah. how long it took for us to see his face. Yeah. yeah. And was, now I'm shocked this is the one you've watched the least. Yeah. We no, found I out, know. We found out on this show that in uh, 2004, Joanna had her sexual awakening. She's apparently real into Alfred Molina, of all people. But from this movie? Uh, more more, more Spider-Man 2, whatever, but definitely recently with his beard. Oh. <laughs> Why? He's, Alfred, I, I get it. He's I so Are you kidding Alfred. me? Where's my phone? Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck you. No. <laughs> anyway. I'm not questioning this. No. Everybody so I has figured this be the type. one you watch the most. Is it because he dies too early in the movie? Upsetting. Yeah, he dies right away. <laughs> well, not right away, right away, but. It is a I young Alpha yeah. Molina, too. He's like, with a beard. Like, come on. Oh, man. he looks. Like, I, I, come I, on. Come on. Now you're turning Doug you're just, on to Alfred yeah, Molina. You're welcome. I'm getting everybody. I think you're just jealous. I I'm can see it. Again. I'm going to go home and watch Frida. Anyway. Uh, his eyebrows. Are I couldn't like, think of another. <laughs> I mean, that's really bad. Boogie that's Nights. the only one. He only has one scene, but right. yeah. it's yeah, still okay. a great one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, his eyebrows are insane in this. They're just like bushy, like crazy. Um, but I like that the one dude. So I, I assume the one guy is a mole for Belloc. Yes. And he just decided after the one guy got scared of bats, he's like, now I'll shoot Indiana Jones. Like you could have shot him in like any time. Before yeah. you shoot him. Yeah, why did he want to shoot Alfred him? Alfred right Molina has the, the right idea. Yeah, you Alfred Molina is yeah. playing it. Like, I'm going to hang back in this. Also, game Indy, and... Indy should be like, okay, all these guys are fucked. I'm going off on my own. <laughs> yes. Going off on my own. And also, Indy has, I'm going to be shot senses. He just, he hears the Indy click. And he's like, I mean, he <laughs> hears the click. Uh, I guess he hears the click. That guy's not very slick about what he's doing. Yeah. Just hit him on the back of the head with a rock or something. <laughs> I want to say the whip is an odd choice. I'm sure it came from something. Well, we find out the origin of the whip later on. Uh, but it's just a weird thing for him to bring on an adventure. But I'm it's like, super cool. It's cool. Like, it's, really it's really cool. cool. It's really cool. Hello, Crystal. Hi, Tony. What's that question you always ask me all the time? There's so many questions. Well, the one question you always ask me is, Tony, you're such a sexual tyrannosaur. How have you not fathered tons of illegitimate kids all over the world? Yeah, I forgot about that question. You ask me that all the time. And the answer is that I am smart and use contraceptives. And I know some people hate condoms. They're like, ew, they feel weird. They never fit right. You guys are doing it all wrong. No longer go to those gas stations or pharmacies. From now on, go to luckybloke.com. What's luckybloke.com? What's luckybloke.com? Oh, it's the greatest website ever. It's totally changed my life. You can go to luckybloke.com and order condoms discreetly online, and they will find the perfect size for you. How will they find the perfect size? Well, it's real simple, Crystal. You simply go to their website and click find your size. They have a whole condom size chart here, and what you do is you grab a 
a toilet paper roll and you fit your junk or the junk of the person you like into the roll. And based off that measurement, they will special order a bunch of condoms for you. So I clearly picked the largest size they had and they sent me a bunch of stuff. Look at this. Look at that. That's a bag of condoms. That is a bag of condoms. Yes, it is. You've got Dorex in there. You've got Kimono Micro Thin. Ooh, you is got that a Playboy? That is a Playboy brand no, of condom. Get that out. I'm going to, well, not, on, <laughs> not <laughs> on camera. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but they have other stuff on their website as well. Like what? You can also order Uber Lube. Uber Lube? That's right, Crystal, Uber Lube. It's not harmful to healthy bacteria or pH levels. It's physician recommended, used in OBGYN practices. It has no alcohol, no gluten, no glycerin or parabens. It's not scented or flavored, and it's latex safe, but not recommended for use with silicone. And most importantly, it's made in the US of A. So yes, they sent me a, a nice little thing of a uh, uber lube yeah. here and i also have a bunch of lube samplers to go along with my what? condom samplers isn't that great oh my god all the experimenting you can do tony and they have plenty of fun toys i have the uh the tanga 05 <laughs> bead spinner do you want to know more about the spinner yeah okay go for a spin all new internal coil makes the spinner twist as you insert Sending unbelievable sensations with each stroke. Enjoy a unique sensation like none other. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this later, Yeah, Crystal. you are. It's going to be so much fun. So much solo fun for you. Crystal, I know you feel left out. I do. I'm talking about condoms and the Yeah, and stuff. I can only hope that my gynecologist has that lube. That's all I got. Yes, well, guess what? Yeah. Lucky bloke, they also have gifts for people with vaginas. I got a vagina. Sweet. You you do, you do. I do. They have they have plenty of stuff for you on there that you can go Yay! and buy. Crystal, if you want to be a lucky bloke yourself, you can go to luckybloke.com slash discount slash hack20 and use promo code hack20 for 20% off the store. I can't wait. Also, get ready for this. Totally ready. It's always free shipping internationally if the customer spends over $29. $29? Yes. I'm definitely spending over free $29. Free shipping. And you're going to get that discount. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. Again, that's luckybloke.com slash discount slash hack20 with promo code hack20 for 20% off the store. Whatever your adventure, Lucky Bloke's got you covered. Woo! I don't know. My friend gave me that and it didn't come with a hat. I'm sorry. Well, it came with a hat. Your friend just didn't give you the well, hat. I guess my friend didn't like, give me the hat. I don't know. I would like to think they produced uh Indiana Jones doll sans hat. Like, <laughs> kids will love this. The one I have in the case has a hat. It looks horrible. It's missing. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> fine. Oh, it, oh, for the podcast listeners, there's a Indiana Jones toy that a friend gave me on set and it's it's got a very unfortunate face. It's, it's, just, it's scary. It looks like like Harrison Ford, if he like really was going through a rough time, yeah, <laughs> he's got like, like five o'clock shadow and everything. Got it's stung by a lot of bees. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Indy is so badass, he doesn't care about spiders. Also, how did they not feel all these spiders <gasps> climbing on them? <laughs> how did Alfred Molina not feel eighty yeah, seven so spiders? So many. That was the thing. So it, it's a fun, it's a fun gag where it's like Indy's got a few spiders yeah. on his jacket and then it turns out Alfred Molina has 80. I'm like, Alfred Molina's just wearing like a light shirt. He would have felt that shit. Oh, no, no. They're not even tiny. They're tarantulas. Yeah, yeah, tarantulas. Yeah. Yeah. He's wearing a spider jacket into this place, basically. <laughs> and it is it is fun because it's not that they don't bother him, but just how nonchalant he is with just yeah, that like, curled up whip just brushing them But I the like ground. that this is a setup for something we're going to see soon. It's like he doesn't fear anything. Right. He's too badass. Now, I've had this question for oh. all of my life. Brad, I'm glad we can uh, answer this. <laughs> I'm glad how I'm here for this. <laughs> how does the light trap work? Where Wait, he puts what? his hand in the light <laughs> oh. and a big spike thing comes out. How does that, how, how did the, the vajitos, what are they called? The vajitos? How do they make a light activate? I don't think you should call these people the mojitos. Like, I think that's <laughs> I, 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 not I, The vajitos or something. <laughs> Use a mojito. 
They're not a real tribe, I think. So I think I'm pretty good. sure all of this is made up. <laughs> I wouldn't but worry about I've it. I've never got like, he puts his hand in the light and then the game yeah. comes out. I'm like, how do they get light? Some active? type of sensor. I don't know. They have a. So they don't have modern out. technology, but thousands of years ago, they had a light activated yeah, spring the, trap. The, the, right. the rock has to be a certain temperature at all times. Yeah. And if it's not, then. Yeah. Also, the, they say in the so thing, they're using like a laser because if the, what if they went as the sun moves, the lights could. What if they went at night? Is the thing just there? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, the trap's constantly set all night and then resets. And that's the other thing. Dawn. The one guy goes, "Yeah, uh, no one's ever come out of there alive." It's like who's resetting the traps? <laughs> Do the, do the natives reset the traps? Do yes. they also want the idol? I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, I do like that uh, Indy's just like, yeah, there was a guy that went in here and he was really good. <laughs> and like, by the way, there's this weird thing where every corpse in this movie comes back to life for a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the guy comes yeah. out and he's just like, it's, he just stares looks so, at I mean, It's not as egregious as the skeletons that scream at Marion <laughs> later, which is very bizarre. Also, I'd like to think that people haven't come up here alive because everybody gets in and goes, well, the floor's missing here. I guess I'll turn around. And yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gotten past that part of this. But you, wait, wait, so if people have gotten to that point. You didn't think they'd be like, all right, well, don't step in the light. Let's go get, let's build like a little plank and we'll, we'll walk right over this baby. Does anyone have measuring tape? We'll see how big it is. I think that's it. They get yeah. out and they've lost all sort of motivation <laughs> to do this and they go home. And it's like a bottomless pit. And I love the mat shot from underneath. Yeah. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, yeah. Another question about the traps. <laughs> God. So you're thinking too much into yeah, this. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. So the, the, the mojitos, yeah. They have hydraulics. They have hydraulically shot darts. That's pretty impressive. I think the answer is yes, they do. Because <laughs> what else are you going to say? So it's the 1930s. They don't yeah. have any kind of modern technology, but they have light activated traps and hydraulic darts. When you're on the Indiana Jones ride, it's just air shooting at you. Yeah. I mean, these are all <laughs> Goonies traps anyway. Yeah. By the way, I like, love that he like poked the thing and then the dart shot the thing. I'm like, <laughs> what if that got you in the face? Right, like, you would have yeah. been fine. Uh, but yeah, then we got probably like the whole opening of this scene is the whole opening of this movie is super yeah. iconic and him like going up to the gold fertility idol. And I love like the, the unrealistic. Do you not have it? No, that wasn't mine. No, we have crystal oh. skull vodka. We have crystal skull <laughs> That's vodka. as close as it's going to get here. <laughs> and that um, one's empty. There's stuff in the other one if you want to just get hammered. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I love that. Like there's that gold lighting coming up from yeah. underneath the idol, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, yeah. And we have the classic, like, Oh, I'm going to oh, just the, the idea bag. of looking at it going, well, I know how much this weighs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He like eyes it. He's like, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Boom. And then, like, I love it. Like, I love that. It works for a second. Yeah. Cause again, it's hyping him up to be this most awesome guy ever. And then like right away, he kind of fucks up. It's like, oh shit, that didn't work. Well, that's, that's the other thing that's great about this character is it just undercuts at every turn. Like yeah. you said, just that arrow sticking in that thing. His reaction is, oh, that was an accident. Like I did <laughs> not, I got really lucky okay, here he, with he's this not one. Perfect. He's no. not perfect. Yeah. Like James no. Bond is supposed to be like this perfectionist and like right. he's so badass. Like Indiana Jones is a badass, but he's not perfect he's, at yeah. it. He's not perfect. He just happens to be lucky. He has <laughs> confidence enough. <laughs> Where he's, he's going to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing I like about this shot yeah. is in the background, you see Alfred Molina hiding. <laughs> he's so far off in yeah. the background. Wait, wait. During this I, whole love, I love when he's got the hands on the idol and then Alfred Molina's yes. like this with yeah, his fingers. It's pretty great. I what was his name in this movie? I don't even know. It doesn't I forget matter. what his name okay. is. It's Alfred Molina. Yeah, right. um, I didn't realize for so many years, like... I, I guess I'm never really looking at the idol too much. I knew it was like a like an angry yeah. face, mm -hmm. but it wasn't until years later. I'm like, oh, that's a woman shitting out a kid. There's like a little kid oh, coming I, out I of her because apparently it's a fertility that. idol. Okay. Oh my god. I never so yeah, that's no literally idea. a woman screaming because she's shitting out a kid. Oh, that's pretty great. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, I guess that makes sense. I'm like, I never noticed the little kid coming no. out. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even notice it this time. You can see. Hold on. And they sell toys of it, and we had one on set for a long time. You can see it down there. Oh, that's super <laughs> fantastic. Wow. Oh, I love that. That's great. I had no idea. I had no idea. 
Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, Oof. Turns out Alfred Molina is a bad guy. <laughs> so that coming. Oh, also, actually, before this, I love the uh, the classic. It's like Spielberg's time expanding editing, where like the door is closing, oh. and then a little cut, and then you bang my knee. <laughs> I just got a tattoo, and it hurts. Well, that's on you. That's on you. Anyway, no. it's almost like this studio seems smaller. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. It's the same it's studio. Still the ceiling was seats. always this low, okay? Still very uncomfortable seats. <laughs> it was always this low with not any overhead lights. It's always <laughs> been like this. Okay? <laughs> anyway. I do like that light. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so the door will start closing, yes. and then it cuts and cuts, and then, we, like, you clearly tell they reset the uh, door, but it works. I mean, this is a trope in every dumb cartoon I yeah. watched as yeah. a kid yeah. in all sorts of movies like this, yeah. but it is great. It, it builds that tension, but yeah. the amount of time it takes him to jump and then grabbing the vine and it's falling like, well, that door shut Yeah, that door should have shut ago. a long time ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the whole, like, throw me the idol, throw me the whip. Uh, and Indy falls for it like a sucker. Yeah. Well, what's he gonna do at that point? Yeah. He, you, he didn't even need the whip. Yeah, he didn't really need. He just the whip. jumped he, the fucking. Yeah. He just, he just jumps. <laughs> he just jumps it. <laughs> he just jumps. He didn't and he even makes need it. it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Alfred forgot about the light activated yeah. trap. Uh, and now he's got like a stake through it. Well, the, it's his whole body. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I will say the the rubber dummy. It doesn't look anything it looks like him. Terrible. Oh, it looks For a second, I'm like, is that supposed to be him? Yeah, it looks nothing like Alfred Molina. <laughs> if it did, I would hunt it down. <laughs> oh my god, Johanna, jeez. I don't. I don't see the problem. No, I don't. I mean, listen, lots of people fuck dummies. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I think Tony's just jealous because he didn't think of it first. No, I'm sad. He, of, he didn't think how high I'm Alfred sad. Molina was. He <laughs> yes. was first. Look, I'm sad because our dummy, Richard, the hardest working person in hack movies, died filming your last scene in the Die Hard video. Wait, what? Your scene in the Die Hard video where you die? You didn't tell me he died? Well, yeah, we threw him off the thing and his head exploded. I you didn't you, tell me that! You didn't that was, see he, it at the office? No! Well, next time you're at the office, go downstairs. I'm probably never going back to that <laughs> office unless I have to go into Where a meeting. The cardboard tube that supports his body burst through the top of his head. Guys, we're in the office now. That's what right, we're happening? in the office. No, it's we're actually in a over store. there. <laughs> it's, it's over there in the prop oh, closet. Oh, yeah, no, wait, we're in a store. We're in the store. Okay. <sighs> anyway. We should have worked Keep this out Keep the story straight, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, classic ball scene. I mean, I mean, all classic ball yeah, scene, right? I've Clip seen that. plenty of them. I may have seen one today that was roughly two minutes long. <laughs> there's probably there was two. Right. They dangle. Yes. <laughs> so do you think they found a ball-shaped rock, or did they shave a rock into a ball shape? I assume they shaved it. They're really tough to find. I mean, you have to make these. You have to custom, you have to custom shape a rock this large. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, at some point, yeah, somehow this rock is able to come down mm -hmm. and chase him, and it's like super iconic. Him running through the whole thing, him running through spider webs that are two feet thick. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. great <laughs> that he somehow didn't run through on his way there. Did they? They probably rebuilt those spider webs. Uh, different hallway. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking like different hallway. I don't know because he comes out the same place he went in. I don't know. I do like that the ball like covers up the entrance and like yeah. like jumps out of it. Uh, yeah, really, really fun opening. And then we see the guy who tried to shoot him. He falls over with a million darts in his back. Yep. Wait a second. What? So, say he got the idol, right? No, and he, he tripped. <laughs> no, and then he trips the uh, trap for the ball. What if he just stayed behind the ball? Would he just be stuck in there forever because of the ball or like? I think that's the point. Is that, is that I it? I think, that's, that's, I think yeah. the ball is yeah. supposed to like seal you in forever. Okay. So I'm like, he could have just stayed behind. If the, the ball, ball didn't work, the door works. If that didn't <laughs> the work, light there's triggers. a few different ways to lock <laughs> you in there for all eternity. Okay. <laughs> with the with the idol that yeah. I think these people hold sacred, and then they're probably like, well, now we can't visit and our these idol white people anymore. are stealing their. Right. Mm. Yeah, and then now we know it's a fertility idol, right? So, India, Dial of Destiny. You know what Dial of Destiny is going to be about? 
He goes back and returns that item. No, he robs the British Museum and returns everything. And he returns That's exactly everything. It. Oh, is that the name of this movie? Dial I, of I, Destiny. I couldn't pay attention to anything other than the terrible, terrible CG <laughs> slash green screen effects I saw. People in that were telling preview. me, like, the movie doesn't come out for a bit. It'll be good. I'm like, have you seen anything Marvel and Disney have put out? Like, did you see Thor 4? Like, they, they, they released a movie with unfinished effects. Yeah. What? Don't tell me Indiana Jones is going to look great when it comes out. No, it's going to look just as bad as the trailer. Yeah. If, so, if anything, they should polish the hell out of that trailer. Like, yeah. like well, if the trailer the... looked good, that shouldn't guarantee the movie's going to look good. But if the trailer's they, bad. They literally, Thor 4, the, the, the video version, they had to, like, touch up the effects because of how bad it was in the theaters. Well, we don't have Cheapek anymore. It's back to Bob Iger. Who's in charge of oh. this? Now, so. Oh, he'll fix everything. <laughs> oh, Whatever. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, fixing the parks right now, so that's all I care about. So. Now, now, we're introduced to Belloc, played by Paul Friedman, who is alive. I screwed up in our Power Rangers episode. I confused him for another oh. bad guy from Power Rangers. Were you died. like that Green Ranger? Well, no, no, he's no, 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 no. I don't see any issue. The here. Power Rangers <laughs> episode, because uh, Paul Freeman was Ivan Ooze in the first Power Rangers movie. Dude, don't talk to me like I know anything you're saying. <laughs> Please don't. The point is, because I remember a Power Rangers bad guy died in that episode. I'm like, yeah, Paul Freeman's dead. And I got a million comments. They're like, Paul Freeman is very much alive. Like, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> so, right. sorry. Sorry, it was the guy. More who, lies from Tony. It was the guy who voiced Zed who died. Paul Freeman, who is alive, plays Belloc in this. And I love his whole plan of, I'm just going to let Indiana do it and I'm going to steal from him afterwards. It's great, but then he seems to be upset that Indiana Jones gets away. Like, it's like he wants it and then he wants to kill him. Yeah. But each time he keeps leading him to more artifacts. Like, he really keep does. letting this dude go. And you, Take what you want, let him go, and keep tailing him. And you know he's the bad guy because he laughs maniacally. He makes sure to go, ah, ha, 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 as he's, like, chasing Indiana Jones You don't away. laugh like right. that? Huh? You don't laugh like that? Uh, all the time. Oh. All right, the time. So you're a bad guy. Like, uh, recently I threw a rock through someone's car. And I went, ha, 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 ha. Oh, so you smashed out the back windshield. Someone smashed your windshield. Oh. She posted about it on, on uh, Twitter. Yeah. And then everyone goes, it was probably Tony. I'm like, what the <laughs> shit? I'm not going to go to like, join. It was like smash, smashed. Oh, Tony, look what you did. But it's okay. It, it got fixed in a day. Look, look. <laughs> I'm not going to your neighborhood. I hear they break into people's cars there. So <laughs> I have video of proof of you entering my house. <laughs> what true. are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> Indy runs to the plane. Should I just leave? No, no. <laughs> uh, the plane with Chuck, who's the pilot, who we never see again. Uh, yeah, yep. okay, great. Because the whole time I'm like, wait, is that him? Does he play a different part? Is he yep. in any of the they other movies? They just didn't even know he had a name. That's it, okay. He just had a name. All right. It's Chuck. <laughs> uh, I love the plane, says O-B-C-P-O. There's a bunch of Star Wars stuff sprinkled throughout Indiana Jones. There's one later on. Uh, and it even makes classic them... character yeah. OBCP. <laughs> well, it's a reference <laughs> to Obi Wan and C. But also when he, because Ben Bird, I think, also did the sound on this when the uh -huh. plane fires up. It's the Millennium Falcon engine. Oh, I didn't. Sound. I didn't pick up the, on that. I okay, didn't that's cool. Yeah, I did not pay attention to that. Watch this. So he gets away, and Indiana Jones. He was so badass, and nothing scares him. He's scared of snakes. Yeah. Like, I, lo I love after everything. It's like, yeah, I'm cool. He's like, oh, my God, a snake. <laughs> He's sitting on a giant snake. Yeah. You don't have to be afraid of snakes to be afraid in that particular scenario. Like, I'm not very afraid of snakes, but if if I if sat down here and there was a giant snake on yeah, my Yeah, I'd be lap, alarmed for a second. I'd be yes. like, what the? Yeah. If a big snake revealed itself right. between my legs... I love reptile. I'm not afraid of snakes, but even I would be yeah. like, whoa, 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 right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, exactly. there would never yes. be a big snake between your legs. I know it's a running gag, but it's not like he sat down and in a tank there is a tiny <laughs> snake and he's like, whoa, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Did you guys see that video that's going around right now? The snakes on the people's ceiling? No. There's a video. I don't like that. There's a like tail hanging. I'm afraid of toilet it. snakes, so like. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video <laughs> going around. Not I don't you can see it. Do you feel okay about toilet ghoulies? Look, look, look. Like, hold on. Ghoulies? I have, to, I have to tell the story. So when I was a child, I was watching the news, and there was some story about uh, a snake getting lost. 
and it was a big one. And the last p- place someone saw it was in their toilet, and oh. then it went back down the pipe. Oh. So it was just like, you know, be careful, like toilet snakes. And then I was like afraid to sit be on the toilet for like forever. <laughs> so and apparently it's a real like a real fear for like everybody. Too. I would love I'm just like, the, wait, what? <laughs> I would love if that news story literally ended with the anchor going, "Be careful, toilet snakes." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Could you imagine you're sitting there all of a sudden and just something bites your ass? Like, <laughs> so there's a video horrible. going around right now, and you see a snake's tail hanging out of the wall, and someone comes in with one of those, like, you know, the sticks with the wire yeah. at the end? Yeah. They grab it. Snake the sticks. The whole wall collapse. It's like a giant constrictor, and I think it was having sex with another giant constrictor, oh. and they both kind of, like, fall out of the wall, and you see its head come down and then go into the wall. It broke the entire thing. And people were like, oh, f- I would burn the house yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine, not just a snake, a giant snake breaking through the thing. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. I want to see that in the next Indiana Jones movie. Um, How often is he running into snakes, Indiana Jones? It happens a lot if you're digging around for stuff, I guess. Let me guess, yeah. If you're out in the wilderness. You're always in jungles. You're always in sand. We know. deserts. (laughs) Watching (laughs) these movies... When you when you watch the third one, it's like, oh, he's been afraid of snakes for a while. He, right. I don't even think he'd be in this line of work. He's no. like, no, I'm not. <laughs> he's like, well, the jungle, no, there's way too many fucking snakes there. I'm, I'm going work. Oh, and that third one, the way he's like, rats, who gives a shit, is awesome. <laughs> like, I love it when those rats are all over the place. He's like, do, 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 do. no, well, I, like, I like the They're twist there snakes. where it's like his dad is afraid of rats. Yeah, right. Um, but I love the guy. He's like, oh, it's just my pet snake. I'm like, why are you bringing your snake at the plane? Like, what? The, well, emotional. Support. There are other movies about snakes and planes, but this emotional. is the first time. I saw a snake on a plane. Snakes on a plane is a good good movie. I don't care. Uh, I was talking about that movie recently. I'm like, yeah, this was a real movie. And everyone thought it was going to be funnier than it was because of the memes. I'm waiting for that to be the same with Cocaine Bear. (laughs) Cocaine Bear looks fun. I am really waiting for that to... I looked that movie up the other day, knew nothing about it, and I was shocked that there are legit actors in that movie. I thought it was just... Ray Liotta's last movie! Yeah, I thought it was just garbage nonsense, people having fun, and somehow got distribution. Yeah, I'm going to do a... uh, I'm planning, at the time of this recording, maybe it's even out, I'm planning on doing a review with Movie Dumpster on it. Uh, By the way, you want to know the true story of the Cocaine Bear? Jesus. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Sorry. We... Hello? Did I accidentally call Hey, you? hey, hello. What's up? <laughs> oh. Why would the spam number hang up on me? Anyway. <laughs> the true story of the cocaine bear, by the way, in real life, a guy did throw a bunch of cocaine out of his plane and he parachuted it and he died. And they found a bear whose heart just stopped because it ate all the cocaine. That's the truth. It's just a bear went, hey, a bunch of cocaine, and then it died. <laughs> and the movie is taking a lot of liberties with that. Uh, well, well, you that's, haven't that's seen fine. the movie yet. Maybe that's all it is. <laughs> no, I've seen the trailer. Maybe. He's like killing people. It's like, no, here's the true story. A guy, his all parachute right, didn't okay. work. I thought maybe the movie is just leading up to the guy getting cocaine and it ends <laughs> with a dead bear. I mean, it's a funny idea for a movie, but oh, I'm, sure. I'm like, what's the real story? And I'm like, oh, the bear, they just found a bear. And like, well, there's cocaine everywhere and its heart stopped. <laughs> I think we figured out what happened here. One to one. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Indiana Jones, he's a college professor. Yeah. Did you relate to this growing up? Oh, uh, growing up. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, did this As inspire? I was, when I was a child and I was a college professor. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, when you were, well, I'm sorry, did this inspire you? You're like, you know what? I'm going to. Be a, be a teacher and go on adventures. I will say right now, I am greatly disappointed after none of my students blink. They <laughs> they have written anything on their eyelids. Just anything. You'll it, settle for fuck I you. D- yes. <laughs> I would take that every day of the week. Pee, pee, poo, poo. Constantly. I, I'm very yeah. disappointed that this is not. Look, it was the 30s. It was a different time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking at this now and I'm like. Yeah, this would not fly right now. You can't you can't establish your hero as maybe sleeping with his younger students. Uh, that that's not gonna fly in the modern age, folks. I, listen, I am a college professor. In case in that, that's case what I, that's why that. I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna ask. So, uh, yeah, how many sure. of your students have you slept with, and how many people have you shot? So here's the thing. Okay, shot none. Oh. I I have slept with none of my students, oh. but having been a college professor at various institutions. The second one is <laughs> it does not happen. as uncommon as a lot of people might think. Yeah, no, no. I think a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> wild. And just knowing this, 
I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> like just seeing these people in the hall, not where I work now, those people are great. I'm yeah. talking about other institutions. Yeah. Seeing these people in the hall, I'm kind of skeeved out. Like it, it kind of grosses me <laughs> but out. But even yeah. like, you tell, even Indiana Jones, he's looking at it like, what, yes. what is going on? Right. Here? It's, and, by listen, the way, this is an early 80s Harrison Ford. Yeah. He doesn't need these college kids. He no. could go anywhere he wants and women would be throwing themselves yes. at him. Um, it is pretty funny. This did remind me. I took an anthropology class in college and the professor there was like this younger dude who was like insanely attractive to these girls. Oh, like, right. Girls literally would have their friends meet them after class outside because they just wanted to look at this professor because yeah. of how hot he was apparently. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess Indiana Jones was right. But yeah, the girl who wrote Love You on her eyes, I'm just like, first off, the L word this early on. I'm going to turn that guy off. But like, what did she do the rest of the day? Washed it off in the bathroom. Oh yeah, yeah, she went back. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I hope it's not Sharpie or anything like that. <laughs> but, and, and she had to have gotten her friend to do that for her. Like, you can't. <laughs> can't do that yourself. Can she you? practices a lot. She just She does it every day. You're just <laughs> winking and trying your best in a mirror. Also, to make sure you're writing it the right way. Also, um so are college professors allowed to like during the semester just take time off to go to Egypt and shoot a bunch of people and then come back? We never see him like working on Probably. his curriculum like, or whatever. I don't know. Like I don't know. He's like <laughs> He doesn't like, have one. He just comes back and tells his stories. I, I, right, I, I would love exactly. Indiana Jones. Is like the Ark might be here now. I got to grade Tim's paper. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Why is he sleeping on that plane? He's got stuff to grade. <laughs> we never see that. No. We never see him being like oh, Tim. No. <laughs> I do like that the one nerd leaves the apple. Like, he's real mad. He's, he's like, so pissed. Because he's, so he's pissed. like, I'm the only dude in this class. <laughs> First of all, you're not paying attention to me. But I love we meet Marcus Brody, and Brody picks up the apple and just starts yep. eating it. But yeah, Marcus Brody, uh, he's not too sad about Indy not getting the idol because they have a new prospect. A bunch of government dudes are here. And the one government dude is played by William Hootkins. Should I... Just you mean got it. He to really. Me? He was Porkins in Star Wars. Oh, oh okay. So this guy, that? and he was Eckhart in Batman '89. So this guy. Oh, that was that same guy. Yeah. So right, what okay. it was because this like was that. a lot of this was filmed in like England. Uh, he was just a heavy set American actor who was just in England. So when they would do these movies, they're like. Oh, we need a heavy set guy with an American accent. They're like, oh, William Hookins, he's right here. Oh my God. So he lived there for years. That's wow. why he ended up in okay. a lot of these movies because they're like, oh, we don't have to ship anyone. He's already here. Like, yeah, bring him in. That's pretty great. So yeah, he plays the government guy in this huh. and he tells them, like, hey, your old uh, partner, Abner Ravenwood. It's like, what? <laughs> cool name. That cool, is cool name. name. It's like, yeah, the Nazis have uh, some telegrams. The Nazis are talking about him a lot uh, and they're asking about Tannis. And he's like, oh, that's the city where they think the Ark is, the Ark of the Covenant. And then we get a whole history lesson. That's the stuff in red wine that gets you really <laughs> Jesus. So we get a whole history lesson in the Ark of the Covenant. And I actually know a lot about the Ark of the Covenant. Uh-huh. Because in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, there is a actual uh, recreation of the Ark of the Covenant. And after my sister's wedding, I went there. Yes, and I have some souvenirs. So I got a... Um, oh, I've seen it. So here's the magnet. I've I have the it. magnet. So what it is, you go there, and it set up like the camp for where the Ark was. And they sit you down, and they play a little video that tells you the story of the Ark. And then you walk into a room, which is a recreation of the temple. And they have a priest, which is an animatronic, and he's on a rail. And then when it's his turn to talk, he like awkwardly, he's like, because like, it hasn't been touched up in years. <laughs> And it looks so bad. You just need to oil it. How yeah, and he's that? just like, oh, the Ark of the Covenant's in the other room. And then it brings you into another room where you see the Ark of the Covenant. And it looks just like the one from this movie if it was made out of plywood and spray painted gold. Oh, okay. So if you're ever in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, I highly suggest you go to the recreation of the Ark. I don't know how you guys haven't been. It's in the same state. You're, you're probably going to go right after this. Yeah, I'm going to drive right up. Yeah, we'll go? carpool. I mean, you had yeah. your window fixed. Yeah, everything's so, fine. Everything's fine. All right, We're okay. It's I recommend everyone. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it sounds like because it's 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 worth it just to see that animatronic go like this in person. It makes it so worth it. 
Because I'm sure like 20, 30 years ago when they built it, they were like, this is amazing. Oh, the, yeah. It's just like Pirates of the Caribbean or anything <laughs> Disney's done. So anyway. Can we get him to chase a woman around? <laughs> no. I don't think that would fly no? in the recreation of the Ark. Okay. Uh, so the Nazis want the Ark because it's going to make any army that holds it invincible. I feel like there's should be a lot of rules they're around. They're really guessing. Like they're, they're taking great leaps here as far as now, assuming that this does is going Hitler, to make armies invincible. How? Does Hitler want it or does he just does Hitler want it cuz he thinks it'll work for him or does he just want no one else to have it? Cuz that's a good probably both. Yeah, cuz I mean I like cuz like, someone should tell him like, "Hey, oh. The, the Ark of the Covenant, that was like an agreement between God and the Jews, and you're currently, you're probably not. Yeah, uh, of all people. <laughs> right. Of all yeah. people. Yeah, like, you know what? You, this might not work for you, Hitler. I'm like, so I'm thinking maybe he just wants it out of other people's hands. Yeah. But then later, somebody's like, oh, Hitler's just in all this nonsense bullshit. So maybe yeah. it's just fun. Maybe he's like, Ooh, which I think be great to have. Because like, there's other movies know. that talk about how he's into the occult, so he must have been at one point. So, like, there's just, entire history channel programs yeah. about it. So it's got to be true. <laughs> God, Hillary, he probably, like, would believe in, like, horoscopes and shit. Like, he, yeah. he probably was one of those idiots. Yeah. Do you think he ever talked to a medium? Like Ronald Reagan? <laughs> like, I mean, probably. <laughs> so stupid. All that stuff is so yes. stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Let's talk about Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Indiana Jones. <laughs> Come on. So basically, the government's like, look, you need to get Abner Ravenwood because he has the head of the staff that'll lead to the room that has the ark it's very convoluted yep but yep. not in a bad way no no in no. a fun adventurous way. not in a bad way but in a nice way where if you're a young kid you can kind of turn your brain off to this yeah and, and you can zone out and you know what he'll be punching nazis and chopping dudes up in yes. propellers pretty soon <laughs> yeah. sit tight for five minute chunks yeah and it'll get exciting again so they uh he goes to nepal mm -hmm. and we get our famous red line on the map scene which is a lot of fun. Love it. Yeah. It's it's just, it's that wonderful little dissolve and overlay. It's, yeah. It's really nice. And like I said, him just taking his hat and putting it over his <laughs> eyes to go to sleep is um, adorable. I like that Marion is having a drinking contest with one of the guys there. Uh, and she's like drinking him under the table. Like she's like way better at it. But also fake being drunk. Too. Is she just trying to... Let this guy save some face. Cause after because she's just like, I don't know. I could barely do this. The moment it's over, she is stone sober. Yeah. It's not I think a she big plays it up to give them like false confidence that okay. they're winning. All right. Okay. Uh but no, apparently she's just really good at drinking. Hey. I don't know. It's a skill. You gotta yeah. work for a few years. Yeah. But anyone can get good at it. <laughs> Sutter and John, I heard, is really good at it. Uh <laughs> pretty good anyway um yeah so i like everyone leaves and i love the whole thing with the shadow in indiana jones they play awesome. a lot with that awesome. shadow and shadows in general there's a lot of shadow stuff in this uh but yeah we find out they had a problematic history uh so apparently indiana jones groomed marion when she was 15 or 16 uh they don't bring that up in sounds later. right i mean <laughs> Based on her, when she goes, I was a child. Yeah. I'm sitting there watching this going, oh, this is kind of gross. Uh, I mean, I know we're going to get past it. I was a child. I was in love. It was wrong and you knew it. Kind so this of. is one of George Lewis's ideas. And apparently he he decided that look she what he did with Anakin and Padme. Yeah. Well, we should really look into George Lucas. George Lucas is super gross. Dude. Yeah. But apparently he was like, oh, yeah, maybe she was like 11 or something. I think Spielberg was like, let's age her up a little bit. Can we age her up a little bit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what the difference between these two actors are age wise, but they seem age appropriate or yeah. at least close. Yeah. Well, she's like 10 years younger. That's oh, fine. Really? Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, I think. I mean, in real I life. Think in or, the, well, or... I think in the movie, she's supposed to be like 25. Okay. And like, this would be fine, except for they're like. Yeah, they had a relationship 10 years ago. It's like, all right, well, now it's right, a little... Right. A little uh, uh. I don't know, though. Wh who wh knows Who knows what country they were in when they had this relationship? Right, right. Also, I mean, also, it's the 30s. Yeah, also like, it's the 30s. Like, I do think the age of consent was, like, 15, 16, then. <laughs> did you think it's we were talking about... Right, did you think we were talking about age of consent in an Indiana Jones movie? <laughs> 
There's that guy hmm. who married Bo Derek or met her when she was 16, oh, yeah. and they had to fly. They had to live in Germany so he wasn't prosecuted oh by the government. <laughs> and then they got married and moved back when she was 19. Well, it's like fucking. Uh, Did Aaron... he also go on adventures? Oh my god. <laughs> and he was also 32 years older than her. It's like freaking uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson with his fucking like dust wife. Oh yeah, he dates like a really older woman, right? Yeah, she met him when like he was like young. Yeah. Oh. And then she, I think she got with him when when he turned 18. Remember what's her face did that with uh, Ashton Kutcher? Remember she she snatched yeah. Ashton Kutcher up pretty early? Yeah. She tells them that Abner Ravenwood's dead. It's like he oh, died. Right. Yes. And I hate you and I hate him. Because he drove me over the world, and now I'm stuck in fucking Nepal, I guess. Oh, no, of all places to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess she owns his bar. It seems I guess she pretty owns cool. the bar, yeah. Nice open fire in the yeah. middle it's of nice. it. Awesome. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. But yeah, so she's like, come back tomorrow, and we'll talk. And she actually does have the headpiece sure. for the staff of Ra or whatever it is. Uh, but I like that um, What's-His-Face comes in. Oh, the, the, the weird German guy who kind of looks Asian. I never really could land on what he was. Um, I don't think he looks Asian I never at all. saw the Asian. Yeah. This is you. Yeah, yeah I think it's you. He's just a weird, weasley-looking dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Fraulein. Who has so super cool hangers. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to talk about the hanger <laughs> later. awesome. Uh, but, yeah, he, um, he like, tries to kill her. Uh, but Indiana Jones... No, he's going to torture her. He's going to torture her. He's going yeah. to torture her. I mean, it does take three or four of these guys yeah. just to hold One her One of down. them is Giant Sherpa... Played by, oh God, Pat, uh, God damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Played by Pat Roach, uh, who was a wrestler at the time. He shows up later in the movie as Giant German, who has that big fight oh, next to the plane. okay, all right. Is so he, he still alive or? No, I think he died. Okay. That's why he's not in the third one, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, they have this cool fight. Wait, that's why he's not in the third one? Because he showed up in the second one as a different oh, character, Oh, no, I was like, I think the reason he's not in anymore is because he's chopped up <laughs> well, in he a was play Well, he played two <laughs> characters. Up. He he's played minced. two characters in this. He played a different character in the next movie, but I think he died before the third one, so they didn't bring okay. him back. Okay, all right. Now, um, yeah, so I like, uh, they're about to burn her, and Indiana Jones, like, whips the, the rod out of his hand. I'm like, man, he's really good with that aiming. What if he just like whipped her face on accident? He's that good. He's, he's not gonna mess good. up. Uh, and what I using learned it for a while. What I learned from this is that apparently, yeah. old wooden tables are bulletproof. Because one of the Sherpa dudes is like, oh, I gotta throw this table over, and I gotta stuck behind him. Yep. Like, dude, that's not blocking shit. I I don't know. I mean, we don't know what's reinforcing that table underneath it. Do we see the underside of I these I think tables? we do, because 10 seconds later, it goes up in flames. Okay. It just lights on fire. Right, it's not fireproof, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, I really like this. Uh, Indy shoots that man in the head, yeah. and blood shoots out of his brain and drips down his face. This is rated PG. It's awesome. It is amazing. There are so many moments during this that I was like, awesome. this is what a PG movie used and to be, yeah. should be, still should be. Well, that's why the, Let's do it. the next one was instrumental in making the PG-13 rating because they're like, okay, you're getting a little too violent. Yeah. Uh, and that but, heart scene, I get it. I get it. That seems awesome. That's not PG. Uh, but the ratings board, I always hated the ratings. system Because sure. it's like, you're so inconsistent. You're yeah. so inconsistent. Right. Uh, and they play favorites like Spielberg can have this, but they're like, yeah, it's so, so dumb. Um, yeah. And like during this whole yeah. fight scene, they're doing more stuff with the shadows on the wall, which is pretty cool. The fight with the guy whose arm is on fire. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. like, that's just, you know, she's just like, whatever, I'm going to keep swinging. It's fine. Just, and, and again, just the idea of that the Indiana Jones stunt spectacular, whatever yeah. that mm -hmm. show was mm -hmm. yeah. like, it's all in this. And just these, the action scenes, the fights, the stunts, the effects I, are great. It's, I love my favorite part yeah. is when Toad is just like, shoot them both. And one of Toad's henchmen's like, oh, fuck you. It like tries to, but like he doesn't <laughs> stop trying to kill. At that point, you should be like, oh, no, we're cool, buddy. I apparently yeah. don't work for these guys anymore. Right. Yep. <laughs> I thought that was good. But yeah, they're, all the action scenes are really fun and fluid. Yeah. They have stuff that they're cutting. They, they put a little bit of levity in there. Like when Indy's like whiskey and he gives her the way she gives him yep. the whiskey and he breaks it over the guy's face. Uh, yeah, I love when Tote touches the the headpiece and it burns his hand. <laughs> he jumps yeah. out. He jumps out the window. Well, like he's just like, like, oh, the medallion, and then he's just like, oh, and then he's ah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was in Let the it fire. Go. Because it's a scene from Home Alone. Like it's it's Home really, Alone it's wasn't just, out yet. It's just Joe Pesci. The way Joe Pesci reacts is pretty much like he just watched this and went, yeah. "Oh, I'm going to do that." Yeah. <laughs> he, he burst out of the window and was like running in the snow. And I'm like, I forgot how, like how funny this is. Yeah. It's really funny. It's very oh. goofy. <laughs> um, what you go? Yeah, he jumps out the window like a Looney Tunes character. And then Marion yeah. is like, you burnt down my bar. You owe me money. And then she goes, I'm your partner. I'm now part of the venture. And I went woke. Put a woman on the adventure. <laughs> I went, ah, here we go. Woke agenda, clearly. Feminist agenda. I'm like, oh, the girl has to. She should have stayed at that bar and waited for him to come home. Am I, I mean, right? To be fair, mm -hmm. she does run around screaming a lot and hiding. So I don't. She I'm does. just he, saying. Yes, she does <laughs> run and scream a lot, and no one ever complains about it for this movie. Burp, Thank no, 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 no. you. Save, save <laughs> that, save that for the next episode. Ooh. Save that for the next episode. <laughs> I mean, but she does shoot a bunch of dudes. She does shoot a bunch she of dudes. She shoots some guys and hits uh, some people. So. so I always forget, whenever you picture Sala, for some reason you think of the Fez. But I don't yeah. think he really wears it in this. He no. wears, He's wearing just a regular hat, and yeah. then he's just a hat off, and then he has like the turban on. But yeah, you know. No. Does he not wear it at all I don't think he wears it at all. I think, I think he just, wears it in the third <clears throat> one. He definitely wears it in the yes. third one. He might have maybe a scene or two in this, but I'm like, oh yeah, I always forget he just doesn't have right. the fez on. And my introduction to him was Last Crusade. So I think sure. for years I didn't realize it was like this. If I hadn't watched Last Crusade recently, I would just forget that they were the same character. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's great. Uh, Jonathan yeah. Reese davies who we've talked about a bunch in our mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings episodes. Uh, you always forget how gigantic. Not, no, that not your, not your episodes on the series Sliders. No, I would love to talk about Sliders. I would actually <laughs> want to rewatch Sliders. I actually really like Sliders in the nineties. Come Kinda. on, Jerry O'Connell, Kari Wurr. I'll watch that with I, you. Kari Wurr, definitely. Yes. I got to talk about. I didn't record it yet, but uh, me and my cousin, we have a bonus show on Patreon where we talk about all the Hellraiser movies. Okay, and uh, Kari Wurr is in one. The next one that we're supposed to review, Hellraiser Deader. I kind of like the entire series. I am I am so <laughs> nobody likes the entire Hellraiser series. I love it. I love the one that's just a detective story and every now and then we, Hellraiser's there. We, we talked about reason. that one recently. I, I love it. I'm an apologist <laughs> yes. for a bunch of them. Yep. Those those later ones, not so much. You got a C <clears throat> you got a guy who kills people with CDs? Yes. No, that please. one was awesome. I, I don't care it. what anyone oh says. God. That one was <laughs> awesome. So good. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they meet Ka uh, Sala in Cairo and he's just like, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of Nazis here. We're digging. They hired me. And it's like, there's a French guy. I love he can't pronounce Belloc's name. Belloc. Yep. <laughs> uh, and a, a monkey just shows up. What an adorable creature. <laughs> monkey and, shows up just hanging out with them. And they're it's just like, their like new like, favorite oh, pet. What a great monkey. Marion hates it at first. And then and she after loves that, it. she's like, oh, it's my child. Yeah, she ends up liking it, but it turns out know. the it's monkey all, like, crawling on her head like it looks uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't want that. The monkey, That's a cute monkey. I don't care. works for an Egyptian who works for Wait, the Nazis. Hold on. Works for is he a salaried monkey? I like, think he is. is he gets paid in dates. He gets paid in dates apparently. <laughs> No, because okay. he's taking orders from the guy. The guy is like, really all right, okay, okay. So the monkey talks to the dude, and the dude understands. That's yes. what got me. Yeah, no, you're right. It's That's... like Han Solo and Chewbacca. Like they're <laughs> yeah. on the same wavelength. <laughs> or like in Star Wars, when they talk, the droid's like, beep, boop, beep. And they're like, oh, yep. clearly he just said. It's like, what the fuck? I didn't yeah. understand that. <laughs> uh, this logic is totally fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we get this fun, big Cairo fight. Yes. And it's... <laughs> Yeah. When they Go first ahead. get ambushed and Mary just has like I guess it's a container or something, just beating them over the head. Yeah. <laughs> I love she just moves to the next guy to just start doing it too <laughs> to like make sure they're down. She has a Looney Tunes scene where she has the frying pan and runs into a room and like bonks them on yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, because she, she traps him in the room and then she whaps them and yeah. brings them in the room. Uh, but it yeah. is a crazy juxtaposition. We just saw guys get shot in the head and blood all over yeah. his and she's hitting people Bonk. with frying and by the way, and, like, coming up, another person gets shot in the head and yeah. the brain yeah. comes <laughs> out. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of running around. And I like at one point, the monkey rats out Marion. Yes. He jumps on her basket. It's like, ah! And like, by the way, now the Nazis know what he's saying. They're like, well, clearly there's someone in there. <laughs> Well, they know who's like, working for. Yeah. Like, there's probably like a bunch of monkeys running around, but they hear one monkey and they're like, that's our yep, monkey. That's there the monkey is. that's working for us. If I were her, 
I would have stuck up. my hand out, grabbed that thing, pulled it in, and... <laughs> yep. I don't know. They're pretty strong. They're pretty strong. You might have problems it's, with It's monkey. still a tiny monkey. I don't know. I and mean, you gorillas. You have adrenaline running, You're too. Not... It's true. It's true. Yeah. Sorry, like, if that monkey's about to get me killed, I'd be like, oh, sorry, like... See yeah, you. you're not gonna take a gorilla in a fight, but I think you yeah, can you take a that. gorilla. You're you, done. You ever see a chimpanzee kill a monkey? I've seen chimpanzees kill a lot of things. Yeah, there's a, there's a video of like what? <laughs> what, well, you, what just, are you up to? People forget. I watched. <laughs> people I forget. Stuff, is, like, I saw this video years ago. People forget like chimpanzees. Like, oh, they eat berries and stuff. Like, no, no. They're, they're omnivores. And there's this video where like a chim these chimpanzees see a monkey in the tree and they're like, ah! and they run up and they just start like bashing oh it and God. they start eating they're it. They're very like, oh, violent. Shit. Oh, all right. <laughs> so Mary should have done that. They stuck their fingers up their butts. <laughs> I mean, all monkeys branch, do that, but, but or apes and monkeys. <laughs> monkeys are really into that. Um, so everyone knows this fact about the big sword guy. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. So apparently, Wait, is this like the Lord of the Rings fact in like two towers where uh, Vigo like broke his foot? Where everybody has to be like, oh, by the way, this scene. Oh, well, no, you told me that. I thought the fact there was that Vigo Mortensen was a beta male because uh, he cried. Anyway, um, in this scene, I didn't see the two towers. Oh, I saw the first Lord of the Rings. That was enough for me. I was done. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't I don't make friends with some of my opinions when it comes to <laughs> certain movie franchises. Where's, where's the set? <laughs> I don't have it here. I don't have the whole set here. Oh, no, wait. I do somewhere. I actually have DVD sets. Oh, I, don't give it to me. I'm not going to watch it. No, no, <laughs> I'm you're going to go home and you're going to watch no. it. No. <laughs> no. You're going to leave and watch them together tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Can I come over here every night and you can read me like a chapter from yes, the book? Yes, I can. I can. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> so apparently Harrison Ford was supposed to have a big fight scene with this guy, mm -hmm. but he was really, really sick the day that they were shooting. And they're like, hey, what if he just shot the big sword guy? It's iconic. It's, awesome. it's pretty great. It's really it's great. great. But then yes. it begs the question, like, why was it he just like shooting all of them? Well, he tries again later. Well, no, he tries again earlier. We'll talk about that in Temple of Doom. So let's, let's save that for Temple oh, of Doom. God. Still. He tries he, again Because that earlier. recontextualizes this scene, but we'll talk about that. Anyway, uh, yes, then he shoots the guy's brains out. Yep. Uh, but yeah, they put Marion in a basket, and they take her away, and he's chasing this basket. Then he goes. Yada. Yeah, and then he goes into the one alley where everyone has the same exact make and model basket. Yep. He's just knocking over everybody's laundry. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, dude, what the fuck, man? Yeah. <laughs> I love how someone in town is just cranking these baskets out. Like, <laughs> these are so hot. Everyone wants one. They're all brand There's new. They're deals. not worn at all. It's like five for one deals on Tuesday, and yeah. this guy can't make them fast enough. So he needs to save Marion, so of course he shoots a guy in the face in a thing full of dynamite, and the truck blows up. Yep. And she's dead. Yeah, he's very, very sad, and he's drinking with that monkey, because he doesn't know the monkey's the traitor. She doesn't know the balls on that monkey to drink with the guy whose girlfriend he just killed. The monkey knows his job isn't done. He may have killed one of them. <laughs> Again, the monkey is like real dead. The monkey's like, I am in. I am yep. in. I've gained their trust, master. <laughs> the fuck was the monkey in Aladdin? He wasn't as loyal as this monkey. No. <laughs> that monkey was just looking to survive in Aladdin. Yeah. So he talks to Belloc. And Belloc does the whole, like, we're not so different. Is Belloc, yeah. like, also... So are all archaeologists just, like, people who go around murdering other people in other I countries? I think so. Though, if you hear Belloc say it, he is. And yeah. also, is Belloc just... Is he bad at his job? Is he lazy? I don't know, but he teamed up with the Nazis, apparently. Uh, so bad was, and lazy. Which he was <laughs> French. Maybe that was to save his own ass. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got to imagine. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this I is, can help you guys out. You this is before the, the war. This is before the war, though. Like, the Nazis are taking over. This is before, like, the full-on war, I think, right? He's just playing it safe. It was 1936, I think? Yeah. But yeah. I think if you're in Europe at the time, you kind of yeah, see the right You're kind of in. Like, you're kind of Especially if you're in <laughs> France. Just in case I get invaded. Yeah. Yeah. If you're in France, you're like, oh, our next-door neighbor here? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to work for you guys because I see what's going to happen. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's going to, like, kill Indy, and then Indy uses children as human shields. Yep. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he does first say, well, you can't kill me in public to which this guy's like, I don't think these people. Give oh, yeah, he goes, he goes, these like, Arabs don't yes. care if we'll kill each other. Yeah. And I'm like, I wouldn't want one guy to be like, 
Yeah, could you not? We're trying to have like a lunch here. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of, when he was like, uh, they don't care about us two white guys, I did kind of want one to turn around and be like, mm-hmm. he's right. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> By the way, they're like, <laughs> uh, like, you just killed like 15 people. Like, yes. <laughs> right. And then you went to the bar to have a drink. Yes. Like, I'd be hiding from like, the authority. Like, you just you go, you can't just go to other countries and shoot yeah. people in the yep. middle. I watched. I watched a white, white. I watched a white woman bludgeon my cousin to death ten <laughs> minutes ago <laughs> with a frying pan. <laughs> with a frying pan. Um, so yeah, like he goes back, and they have that guy who's trying to decode the headpiece. But they talk about how like the Nazis made their own headpiece, and they're like, "How do they make it?" Uh, they had like rubber fittings and whatnot. Uh, we know it's because I think the guy has the burn mark on yep. his hand. Uh, but they find out that the Nazis don't have the right staff. And I love this scene because we know the dates are poisoned. Oh, yeah, right. And the whole time, Indy's, like, about to eat it, yes. and that guy interrupts him. And that's, like, a classic film thing where, like, the audience knows the danger, but the people don't. In college, they always show you the beginning of Touch of Evil where they put sure. the bomb in the trunk. Yep. And, like, the whole time, you're like, oh, God, I know there's a bomb in that trunk. Yeah. But I love it. He goes to eat, and he's like, oh, wait. And he's like, huh, huh, huh. And then when he finally goes to eat, uh, like it's solid grabs, he's like, oh, bad dates. And that monkey is dead. And also totally it's turned dead. into a puppet. I don't know. I can't <laughs> believe it turned into a puppet. Just a, it's fully I mean, taxidermy. The great monkey acting, you can't get it to just lay still for a second. He, he was a diva, that monkey. I could only like, imagine like, no. making him separate out all the green <laughs> M&Ms or whatever monkeys do. I'm sorry. Monkey movie fact. You ever seen the movie Shockma? No, it's a huge blind spot because I love Link. Yeah. I love killer monkey movies. You give me one of those. So there's I'm a fact. Have it. I forget which channel reviewed it. One of the big ones, probably Red Letter or something. But there was a monkey. There's a baboon in that movie. And they had to make it angry. And the way it got, they made it angry is that they had a female baboon on the other side of the door. So when you watch the movie, you see a baboon with like a huge erection. <laughs> that's how they got the okay. performance of him being angry. I don't know. That's a fun monkey movie fact. I just want you guys to know that. So huh. look that up. Anyway. I'm so, okay. So we are primates. Like when I get really <laughs> horny, I'm pissed. <laughs> and you just bang on the door. Yeah. Like, ah! I'm so mad. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. I'm We're not celibate. that different. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm celibate and a born again virgin. By choice. By choice. Yeah. By choice. It's not mm. because dating in your thirties, women just don't want to leave their house. That's not. That's not it at all. They just want to get texts from dudes on dating apps, but not. I'm getting actually married this up. year. I don't care. Now oh, fuck you. <laughs> anyway, I, it's a choice. I mean, they can invite you to their house. No, that's not. No, a they just want to. They just want to text and then hang out with their dog. That's what I'm learning from dating oh, apps. Okay. They just want to date. I mean, first of all, that does sound pretty good. <laughs> I, I understand, I actually. Meanwhile, I stay at home with a cat that I can't stand. Anyway, Shut get up. a dog, so dude. Mean. Like, dogs, that's where it's at. I can't afford a dog right yeah, now. I did almost make, just because of your uh, cringe of the week. Yeah. I did almost text you with a diva request of my own because I am definitely allergic to cats. And I almost said, Tony, please make sure there's not a cat in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, all right, that was probably just something weird. I don't think I have to worry about it. Future, <laughs> don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's no, it's fine. I shouldn't have even <laughs> said anything or thought about it. Now <laughs> everyone knows you're allergic to cats. That's they're how gonna someone mail, will they're gonna, kill me. They're going to mail you cat fur. <laughs> anyway. It's going to release Carson in the house. I'm a little full of dander and I die. Uh, but I did like that the monkey guy killed his monkey on accident. That was pretty funny. Uh, I love uh, when they, they're they in disguise and they're just not being conspicuous at all. No. They're running around yelling at each other in English. Yeah. Like, stop and it. The, the thing is roped off and they're in plain sight of yes. everyone. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to, they're like walking around like, huh, huh, huh. But yeah. okay, so many great effects in this. Mm -hmm. Almost every effect holds up. Even some of the stop motion stuff we're about to see holds up really well. Mm -hmm. The shot of the staff falling into the map room. What the, f it's like a cartoon. Yeah. Like the background is too static and it's like a cartoon stick. And I'm like, 
I don't even think we needed that shot. We no. knew that the staff went into the the. We- it's such exactly. a bizarre yeah. Choice. It looks like a sticker. It's like somebody's. It literally. A it's like an animation cell, yeah. but it's not even like animated. It's like someone just. Yeah. It's like it's like they're somebody po- sliding it slowly. I'm sorry. It's like Poochie in yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. I have to He's go going to my back home, to his planet. home planet. <laughs> it's like that same effect where it's like be. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Although so the bad. clouds and stuff later on, all that rear projection, I thought that okay. looked kind of yeah. garbagey. Yeah, um, yeah, I do have it up here. I'm like blue screen. It's very yeah, that's it's, pretty bad. It's a little rough, um, but don't worry, they're it, keeping that consistent with the new movie. Oh my god, so. yeah, yeah. That th- this movie has an excuse for it to look <laughs> like that. Uh, Indy finds the location of the Well of Souls, of course, and not only does the light hit it and mark the spot, it also turns into a laser. I guess. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Why not? But I like that Sala has to get like a rope for him, and he mm-hmm. ties a bunch of ropes to a Nazi flag. <laughs> yep. Uh, turns out Marion's alive. Uh, he finds her there. Indy finds her there, and he's like, "Oh my God, Marion's like, oh wait, I have to leave you." Yeah. No, he was about to retire. He's like, wait, no, I can't do that. They'll know I'm here. Guess what? They know you're there. Like they know they're here. I had to remain in disguise yelling. Like, what the fuck? (laughs) You're not being (laughs) clandestine at all. Like, come on, just set her free. And by the way, so they find the well of souls, they start digging, and while the sun's still up, he takes off his robe and puts his Indiana Jones outfit on. I'm like, dude. Of course. What the fuck? Of course. Um, yeah, he switches to his Indian outfit. like when the Nazis are like, what's going on right over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's literally how they get caught a few yes. scenes later. Uh, they enter the well, yes. uh, which is full of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, but yeah, they pull the, um, the Ark of the Covenant out of its cell, or its locate, whatever mm, it is. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, I love the behind the scenes for this. Like, all the shadows in the wall, they made, like, just a 2D arc. So they can have like a more uh, distinct shadow. I'm like, that actually works out really well. Yeah. I never even thought of it. And I'm pretty sure they had two 2D arcs. And then the Ark of the Covenant Recreation Center bought it. Right. And then well, made it for theirs. Maybe. Or did they film this in Lancaster? <laughs> you know what? I think they filmed this particular Jesus. scene in Lancaster. Right. That's what I thought. <laughs> I love that this little place, they, their, their Google searches are probably going to go up. And people are like, why are people suddenly on the internet interested? And I'm like... <laughs> Like, oh, some asshole <laughs> talked about your, your weird museum and had your merch on the set. <laughs> Dust off the animatronic, Joan. We're about to get a lot of business. <laughs> Not oil it up. <laughs> yes. We're going we're gonna to update our animatronic. No, that's the no, selling no, point. Right. It needs to be like this. <laughs> you go back, suddenly it's your face. <laughs> You know, we should. I I was thinking, I'm like, what if we shot there? Like, there's no way in a million years. <laughs> no. Like, hey, can we film in here? I'm like, there's no way they would let us film there. Uh, you never know. You know what? Maybe, maybe if this episode does well out for Last Crusade, we're like, hey, can we can we have the robot priest be our guest? <laughs> anyway. Uh, don't you have to yeah. find a chalice for that one? Like, I don't think that'll work. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay. So they get the Ark. Um, Marion tries to do her drinking trick with Belloc. But it turns Which out. Which totally works. I mean. It, well, it almost works. But yeah. it turns out he, like, grew up with this wine. It's from his family vineyard. So, like, he's, like, he's just like, ah, whatever. It I still think he's really loopy, though. Yeah. I, I still think yeah, she they, probably they could have gotten away. Yeah, he's also, like, into her, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, made her change into a dress. Yeah, why did you bring a wedding dress along? Girls should wear dresses. What what, what is that? A hoodie? Go put your dress on right now. I have a dress. Oh, my God. If I knew, I could have borrowed my wife's wedding dress and shown up in it. (laughs) I did ride past the place that uh, I ordered my wedding dress from. I could have been like, hey, is this ready? And I just gave you a year instead of actually at my wedding. Guys, here's what we're going to do. Let's just start over. (laughs) Let you go get it. I'm going to drive an hour away (laughs) to go get that. So this scene with Tote coming in is great. I love it. Because because Belloc is kind of like on thin ice with the Nazis. So sure. I like that Marion's like now siding with him because they're both kind of like in oh, trouble. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I love he pulls out like the chain. It looks like nunchucks. Yeah. Yeah, they're both yes. Like, oh! <laughs> it's just the hanger. Yes. The hanger. Just the idea where I was like nunchucks and I saw three of them and I went sex he toy? Went, he <laughs> bent it over and then he went and it, yep. all yeah, it locks so him and cool. he gives it to his guy. Yeah, I just and I also love just the guy who's in charge of holding your jacket for you while you torture yeah. people. It's so funny. So anyway, they walk out 
And they're like, we're going to find the place. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, shit, they found the Ark, and they're just there <laughs> yes. in broad daylight. I, it is very funny that they are digging everywhere else but that one open cave. Yeah. Yeah, it's But no, it wasn't open like yet. They revealed it. oversight. But it they, didn't they take had much to, remember to they had reveal to reveal it. Well, there was still that one little area. Remember, because he was looking through the uh, telescope thing or whatever? It was, there was one, like, little open area. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know they had to, like, take the Yeah, I mean, they probably, like, they had to go in there yeah. and, like, dig up some stuff or whatever. But, yeah. like, there was one open area well, that they, they didn't know, going Well, remember, into. they didn't have the size of the staff. So they're, like, guessing. Still. Right. Yeah. But they're so close. Which is the weirdest thing, that you're that close. You're not 40 miles yeah. away yeah. somewhere else. It's just, like, if somebody wandered over there to take a shit they would have realized like oh the ground feels yeah like oh here. well don't worry i have another like glaring flaw coming okay. up but uh yeah so they they intercept the ark and the nazis throw marion down there yeah which upsets belloc he's like oh it's not to be shuri <laughs> like all right buddy um but yeah this whole this is a whole fun scene where now she's in the trap with him he's around his Great biggest fear scene. the snakes and i actually think there's a revealing error when the one cobra get, comes up to him uh, the flame that he has is causing reflection on the glass in between them. So if you look real quick, because like they don't want Harrison Ford getting bit yeah. in the face, uh, there's like a little reflection of the yeah. uh, the flame. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I actually like stuff like that. I love it when she's upset at him. Yeah, and allows him to drop her yeah. right in front of that cobra. It's it's a really yeah. cool reveal. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they figure out like well. Oh, where'd all these snakes come from? Oh, they're coming out from that wall. Yeah. So they crash into the wall full of all the corpses that all come to life yes. for a second. And fuck you, they come to life. They scream and then they, they start to move. They're <laughs> screaming at her and they have different voices, which yeah. is very weird. But I know like some of them fall on her, but yeah. there's literally some that are yeah. moving. Oh yeah, yeah. I also like Harrison Ford's idea here. And I know, listen, he has to survive. But the idea of going... To get out of here, here's a statue that has to be priceless. Yes. And I'm going to crash this into a wall, <laughs> destroying it. Which apparently the ancient Egyptians never actually, like, had a foundation for it. No. You just tip that baby yeah, over. Just, just tip it over. Rock, and that thing's coming right down. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he, like, saves her. And then it turns out there was a back door to the cave the oh. whole time. <laughs> The back door, it's not, like, hidden. But you had to crash through a wall to get to the back door. Well, the back door, it's got logos around it and a loose brick, and it's right next to the airstrip. I'm like, no one ever went to think, like, hey, let's move that brick and see what's in there. And then you could have poked through the hole and been like, I found the Will of Souls. Oh, of course, yeah. The idea that you built an entire airstrip there. They and built didn't the airstrip. They're that. landing back and forth, and they're like, oh, look at that. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go dig over there. I'm like, just right. move the brick. It's because it was too obvious. They're like, eh, it wouldn't yeah. be that easy. It's really pissed me. You ever watch Lost? Yeah, sure. Okay. Remember the hatch was like a big deal in season one? Of course. Like, so was the polar hatch? Bear. How do we open up the hatch? Oh my God, we got to figure out the hatch. And like, this is an impossible thing to open. And then in season two, they were like, well, we can't have people going in and out of this hatch. And they're like, oh, there was a back door the whole time. Covered yep. up in some vines. Yep. So like, what the fuck? Yep. What was the point of the hatch what if we had a back door? Yeah. What do all those hieroglyphs mean? I don't know. And it blows up. Okay, I guess we can move on with another storyline. <laughs> There's no reason for the hatch if they just had a back door with some vines over it. <laughs> I really enjoyed Lost. I thought it was super fun. <laughs> was, I liked the, I had the And I watched the whole thing there. all the way to the end, and I was like, yay, that was great. And then everybody <laughs> hated the ending, and I went, I don't know. It was fine. I don't care. It was, it was fun. That, that one that writer upset. strike season was a little rough. Yeah. But anyway, I got that whole big temple box set right there for it. It's on the other side. Would you? Oh, I can see it from here. Would yeah. you refer to it as the Temple of Doom? All right, let's. Yes. Move anyway, on anyway. With this. <laughs> um, so Indy has to stop the plane because yeah. they they don't want the Ark getting out there. Yeah, this is when there is a guy flying the plane or getting ready to fly the getting plane. Getting ready who to has fly a gun. the plane. Yes, and then um, well, Marion takes him out. First, he beats up out. one other dude first. Yes, yes, yes. Manhandles this guy. Yeah, he manhandles he's a normal the guy. sized human. Yeah, and then the big guy shows up, Pat, Pat Roach, who's just like, oh, I'm going to fight today. I'm like, yeah. that's what he was He's just so looking. excited. Not get a gun and shoot him. Like, oh, no, I have no. to punch this guy. Yep. I didn't take my shirt off for no reason. I got to throw some fists. But just, again, Harrison Ford, the way he's playing this is wonderful. Yeah. Just the exasperated, oh, God. I gotta yeah, yeah, fight. when he beats the one, he's I like, I got to oh, fight God, this big dude. guy. He doesn't even take. Is his... this the one where he points at the guy's shoe? 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. he's like, yep. ah, boom! Yep. So <laughs> like, I'm going to take his, I'm going to say, driving gloves off <laughs> for this fight, which is weird. Uh, but this is great. Uh, Marion, she gets on the machine gun. Uh, yes. And she machine guns a bunch of uh, Nazis woke. Yep. <laughs> I just like say woke randomly to I see her face. Do. Anytime a woman does anything, just say woke afterwards. Just her reaction is great. Um, yeah, you're going to get canceled one day, so it's not my problem. Yeah. They've already tried multiple times. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but we haven't tried. That's true. <laughs> That's the thing. So, I think um, we can get it I, done. I, and again, I like uh, the whole ticking clock with like uh, the the flu- the fuel yes. that's leaking more. I do, um, I do have some pictures to get you canceled, which we'll talk about in the next uh, episode. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I think I already showed the picture of me as a Nazi. Yeah, I think this one's going to be worse. What's happening? Are you in blackface? No, no, no. I don't uh, like any of this. No, 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 no. Kind of? Uh, no. 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 In what? A, kind of? I've told this story before. Even kind of I told this far. story before. In first grade, I was in the Sound of Music play. Okay. And the first graders were like, we just need soldiers. <laughs> so they dressed me up in a Nazi uniform. Um... Now, I didn't know what a Nazi was. That seems was. more like the wait, teacher's wait, wait, fault wait. than yours. Wait, no, here's like, the story. Wait, I didn't know what a Nazi was at the time. <laughs> and I lived in a very Russian Jewish neighborhood. Okay. So before the play at night, I went outside and oh, I played no. in my uniform. My no. mom had to be like, Tony, you should you should really come inside. I'm like, but I want to play. It's like, Tony, how do you how do you come inside? You're gonna get your soup dirty. Come inside. Wow. <clears throat> I did post that picture years ago. I'm like, guys, will this hurt my chances of running for office? Like, yeah, probably. I'm like, but I was five. I didn't know. (laughs) I didn't think I felt when I learned about World War II. And I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't. Oh, damn it. (laughs) It depends who you are. Some people will be just fine. (laughs) You can still be on whatever, Dancing with the Stars. You can be in blackface. (laughs) And that's okay. But, you know. Anyway. It depends who you are and what you do. (laughs) If you have money, you're fine. Yeah. So they stopped the plane. And the yeah. poor big guy, he's so caught up in his fight, he just gets shredded by the blades. He's mincemeat. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was pretty It's cool. great. It's, it's pretty great cool. because of Harrison Ford's reaction. Like, I don't want to tell you to turn around. He's like, but, like, ah, but he also doesn't want to look like it's a like, little. Yeah. I love it's like a little too much. Room. He's like, Ooh, yeah. no, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but even just the splatter on the plane. Yeah, that was cool. Cool. That was great. Cool. I love it. Um. So, yeah, now he has to stop a truck. Right. And I love the whole thing where he's like, I don't know, I'm making this up as I go. Yes. <laughs> it's like one after the other. It's like yep. relentless. Uh, we get a Wilhelm scream. Mm-hmm. You need a Wilhelm scream in these sure. movies. Ah! Uh, I also have your India's destroying these Egyptians' livelihood. He's just driving this truck through little towns oh, and no, villages just bursting through like their water system they're like what the fuck dude what is not this not a great reference but he's just pulling a bad boys too he's just like <laughs> yeah, were they going destroyed? through entire people's homes are destroyed at the end of that movie an entire village is decimated I'm so fucking pissed they're making a fourth <laughs> bad boys movie no. but they already called the third one bad boys for life why wouldn't you save that for the fourth movie that's gonna be forever oh my god it probably is anyway mm-hmm. anyway Boy, I love, uh, I love Bad Boys. That's such a good movie. It's such a good movie. Is Will Smith I love still it. canceled for... I don't know, but this is a solid car chase. And yeah, it's funny yeah. to watch this chase and then see something like Crystal Skull with the jungle chase scene that looks awful. Or even like one of the newer Fast and Furious movies where they kind of turn into like cartoons. And sure. it's just like... I'm like, oh, yeah, we used to have, like, I think that's why Mad Max was so refreshing to people. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, these are mostly... I mean, some of them are digital, but they're like... These are mostly real cars, or at least they look like real cars. Yeah. Uh, but and there's yeah. a way to fuse practical effects with digital. Yeah. Well, they use to the stop point where motion it's not in this. so egregious. Yeah, they use stop motion in this when the uh, people fall off the cliff. I thought that was oh, pretty okay. cool. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like when he goes underneath the truck. Yep. Although I have it here, his ass and dick would be shredded. And you know what else I love? <laughs> that dude falls off the truck, runs him over. <laughs> yes, and it's right, great. He does. You see his arms and legs stick up and bounce. It's so really rough. great. It's so rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I like at the end of this tr- uh, race scene, they, they get the truck into like the secret place that I just was just there waiting for them. Yeah. So I don't know if you noticed this. Do you know the fact about this scene? Maybe. So Belloc and Tote and uh, uh, the Nazis, they bring their car and they're looking around. So the actor playing Tote couldn't be there for the close-up. In the wide shots, I'm pretty sure they have a body double. 
for the one close up, they're like, shit, we can't show his face. Tote, I'm not lying. Tote is literally a jacket propped up and his hat is on a stick. It's a oh, hat on a stick one. with the jacket. Okay. I don't know this one. For the close up. Yeah, it's, it's someone pointed that out like on uh, Twitter the other day or a few weeks ago. And I'm like, that can't be real. And then I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, shit. He just does turn into a jacket and a hat for like wh 10 seconds. And then goes right back to the, I guess, the actor or a stuntman in the one scene. Why can't you just put someone else in the jacket? Yeah. I would have had someone else down. in the jacket facing yes. the other way. It makes more sense than that seems <laughs> so bizarre. That seems like a joke. Like somebody on set was like, let's see if anybody notices. I mean, it's not going to make it through the final cut, but let's just do this. <laughs> and then that guy's in the theater at the premiere being like, holy shit, we got away Don't with this. Tell anyone I did Yeah, this. You, think, you think they were all like, right. they're looking at the audience. Oh, the guy, they didn't notice. They didn't <laughs> notice. <laughs> so um, Sala sets him up with uh, Captain Takanga uh, and his boat mm -hmm. to take the Ark back. Yep. Um, there's a funny mirror scene. I like the mirror scene. But also, then we cut back and Marion's like, did you uh, say something? <laughs> and he's just like, like That was the loudest scream ever. <laughs> that was <laughs> deafening. Uh, so, um, Andy and Marion, they relive their younger days when she was just a young girl and he was grooming her. <laughs> uh, but he falls asleep. I mean... To his credit, she was just he playing. A, he had a very busy yeah. day. I would be yeah. asleep too. She I'm was just playing jacks while he taught his <laughs> college courses. Oh my god! <laughs> so we find out that the ark is somewhat sentient, and it burns the SWAT stick on the box. The Nazis hijack the ship. Uh, oh yeah, with, with their sub, mm -hmm. um, and they take the ark, and they take they Marion. Yeah, that was a little weird. It, yeah, it's... They did it for the dude. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but now this is funny. I guess uh, Indy swims to the submarine. But, it, but uh, sorry, I, I don't mean to go back, yeah. but, like, the, the whole Marion thing, like, it seems like, what's his name, is trying to protect her from that. Because he's even like, no, no, give her to me. Yeah, and, but he uh, wants her know. for himself. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I felt like, I don't know, I don't want to say he seemed like kind of a good dude at this time, but I thought he was just like... There's some bad news ahead if you go with them. He's just, he's trying I, to protect her from the Nazis, but also right. he just wants her for himself. Right. So it's still kind of shitty, but yeah, he's trying to protect her from just that. Okay. Nothing I just, else, just uh, that. Okay, no, I just didn't know if I was yeah. reading too much into this or giving him credit for now, he doesn't deserve it. The real mystery is, I guess the submarine just never submerged because Indy swims to the submarine and he's on top of it and they're all clapping. Yeah. And then it just dissolves in the next scene. I'm like, oh, did they just never submerge? Because how the fuck would he get into the submarine? <laughs> I don't know if you know this. It's really hard. Like, it's sealed. And I think oh. it's locked from the inside. It's airtight. Yeah. Maybe it's I don't think they have a door on the outside. submarines that have a screen door on them. I've heard of those. I've, I've heard of those, yeah. too. I've never seen them. Were they uh, successful? I don't know. <laughs> This is like kind of James Bondy. It's like, oh, we just have like an island base yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. And we make sure to put our logo everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so Belloc wants to do a Jewish ceremony mm -hmm. to open up the thing. And the Nazi's like, oh, do we have to? <laughs> just all rolling their eyes. But I love that he's just like, would you rather we open it up in Berlin? And it turns out they're not in there. And it's like, wait. Why don't they just open it up? Do they know it's mad? Like, do do they believe it's magical? I didn't like seem to think any of them believed that maybe anything Belloc was did. magical. I think maybe Belloc did. Okay. But I feel like some of the other Nazis who were like actually in charge are like, this is just like, no, just open it. Right. right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, it's not in this there. This is a cool. thing for Hitler. Like, yeah. yeah. I didn't even think that Indiana Jones believed it, which is why at the end when he's he was like, curious. I don't know, close your eyes. I was like, oh, I didn't think he bought in well, on any of well, this. Well, you know, Indy shouldn't believe it because... Since Temple of Doom is a prequel, he should be under the assumption that Hindu is the correct religion because he saw evidence that that was real. You're right. He must be really confused. Like, wait, wait, so the Jews also got it right? I'm a little confused. Something something in the past. You know what, though? Maybe he's just trying to find himself. Yeah, he's yeah. just open to anything that but somebody now he's pitches seen, that's to my, him. That's my favorite thing with the Andrew. It's like, so he's had evidence of like three conflicting religions all being true. And it's right. like, how would that mess with your brain? By the time aliens show up, he's probably like, yeah, you know what? Oh, Why not? I mean. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> no, 
know, he's probably like, all right, well, clearly there are multiple gods, and, and I'll just deal with this, and I'll figure out which they one I like They need to re-edit best. this movie. When he's talking to the CIA, CIA guys in the beginning, he's like, if you believe that sort of thing, he should be like, I don't, because I found out that Hindu was the correct religion last year. <laughs> I was exactly. in India last year. <laughs> yeah, because it's a year before. Yes. He's like, by the way, we don't know this, but I went to India. A guy got his heart pulled out. <laughs> Can't fake that. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, they plan to open it up on the island. For some reason, they have to go to this. I feel like the island is, like, really tacked on. It's like, wait, there was, like, a special location on the island. Yeah. Um, Indy threatens to blow up the ark. He's got his rocket launcher. He's, he's well, just ready to blow it back to God. Because it. I don't understand. Like, is he just out of ideas now? He's like, he's well, just I don't like, know give how me, I'm going to get He's this. like, give me Marion or I'm going to destroy that thing. And you're right. all fucked. But I like that Belloc calls his bluff. It's like, now you want to know what's in this. And, right. <laughs> and Indiana Jones is like, yeah, I'm a little curious. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, Marion, I'm sorry. I, I really need to know what's in the box. <laughs> but it really is like Indiana Jones just being like, I'll get out of this. I mean, don't, <laughs> it's been worse before. And um, yeah. I'll be so fine. Now, did I miss something? Because what happens next? They 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 tie them up. <laughs> yes. And they do the ceremony. He's wearing the robe and everything. He looks fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they open up and it's like a fake out where there's just sand in there. And right. they're like, what the hell? Where are the stone tablets or whatnot? But then magic starts happening and lights and spirits come out. And then Indy goes, hide your eyes. Yes. Was that established earlier in the movie? No. That's why I'm confused so. by this. Yeah. I'm, it's always bothered me. I love this movie, but it's always bothering me. Like, how did he know to hide his eyes? Because I got to tell you, if somebody opens a box and magic comes out, I am not closing my eyes. Yeah. I'm so into yeah. this. Plus, it's just like, it's like, well, isn't that God's box? I mean, yeah, it should be cool things coming out of there. Right. These are questions I should have asked at the museum, oh the recreation God. of the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. I should have been like, sir, sir, I'm talking to the animatronic, apparently. Uh <laughs> Why, why did Indy close his eyes? Right. And the animatronic is like, uh, uh are those ghosts? <laughs> are those uh, ghosts or angels? <laughs> uh, but it is a terrifying ending. It, it, it reminds me of like a Pandora's box type thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Maybe Indy just like assumes like, you know what? This is probably going to end poorly. Yeah. Just close your eyes. Just don't look. Just well, he case. knows that light is going to come out of it. And he's probably, is he just like, Marion, it might get really what bright you and hurt your eyes. What do you mean he knows light is coming out of Because he says it. Is it that? earlier, because they asked oh, him in the picture, okay. what is that? He's like, the light of God. Oh, yeah. What you, like yeah. They're like, what does it look like? And he's like, oh, there's a picture right here. Yeah, like, I got a, a picture, picture of it? Of it? Yeah. How? How did you get a picture of it? Maybe he went to that museum. I don't know how long it's been there. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a magnet here in this book. <laughs> How do you know so much about the Ark? Have you ever been to Lancaster? Oh, my God. <laughs> It's the most so I have questions about this. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you're a lower level Nazi, it kind of just gets you right through the chest. And yeah. You're dead. Then it does several different types of head trauma to you. One guy's head looks like it just came. Yeah, yeah. So the one they hollowed out like uh, latex and whatnot. Yeah. And they like compressed it and caved it in. Just mushes in. The other one, Tote, I think was made out of wax in layers. And they put like a big heat lamp and they like filmed it over a bunch of time and then the played melting, it back. That's the coolest. That's I mean, if the I'm going to go, like, that's the way I want to go. That's I great. I think people make candles uh, based around oh, that. Probably. Yeah, why would you not? It's awesome. But apparently... Belloc's head exploding was too much, so that's why they superimposed fire over it to mask it a little bit. Apparently, the sensors were like, "All right, we're letting you get away with a lot." The head exploding. It's. I bet you they were like, "Okay, you have three horrifying head traumas. You can only have two. and they had to pick like which ones look cooler. And they're like, "The head exploding doesn't look that impressive. We gotta have the head caving in, the face melting." Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's real horrifying. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. And then I like that the Ark just knows when it's done. And oh, it, did, yeah. Oh, the, all the bad guys are dead. All the bad guys are dead. And then the lid I mean, flies up. the light of God. I guess so. The lid flies up and then and then shuts it. Yep. Which makes me wonder, would Harrison Ford have been killed if he was watching it? That's or the question. Or would the Ark like, understand that he's kind of a good dude? Well, we know the, the Ark has already shown that it's got a bias against the Nazis. <laughs> I wonder not. why. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, it was a very complicated time. Um <laughs> Oh yeah, you're Italian. I forgot. Shut oh. up. No. We were tricked by Germany, okay? Oh yeah, tricked. The Germans tricked. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> they were they were like they were like uh 
hey, we're German. Uh-huh. We got a cool idea. The Italian's like, ah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Is my knowledge of World War II factually accurate? Your impressions are spot on. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> Anyway. So yeah, the, the arc knows to close like itself. Hitler was talking to Chef Boyardee. <laughs> it's amazing. That's how World War II started. <laughs> yeah. Adolf Hitler was in his kitchen. <laughs> and Mussolini's like, this is my chef, Mr. Boyardee. Shut the fuck up. And I'm not going to put the SpaghettiOs in the can. And then Chef Boyardee oh. was like, I read a, your book. I got a, some idea. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, they all get stuff. zapped. Oh, by the way. When, uh, again, reminding me of the best, hardest working person on Hack the Movies, when the fire and everything's going up, it cuts uh-huh. to a rubber dummy of a Nazi just flying in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's great. Like, why did that? Because when it cuts, like, all the bodies are, like, still there, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. Why did that one Nazi's body just fly into the <laughs> air and turn into a rubber dummy? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Indy goes home. Mm-hmm. Like an idiot, he actually gave it to the government. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? And he's, like, asking them questions, like, oh, who has it, blah, blah, blah. And then, who, who are the other people? Because they were trying to be like, well, we need to know where it is. Yeah, well, there, it's it's in the... Well, what's he going to do with it? It's he's like, if study you it. steal, if you I... steal the Mona Lisa, who's going to... How are you getting rid of that? Who's going to buy it from you? Well, the one guy who stole the Mona Lisa didn't get rid of it. He just kept it in his house. Right, exactly. He's just Famous. like, I just look at it, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> That's like the people are talking about, like, oh, I'm going to... St- what if you stole this? It's like... Who would you sell it to? Like, I right. know there's a black market for things, but it's something's too high profile. No, it's you literally... need to steal those mid-tier paintings. Yeah. Like, that's what you want to go after. Yeah, you got to steal. Mid-tier religious artifacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, don't go after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, you go the, for the, the go cross for the of Coronado in the, third one. in the third one. You could probably get away oh with selling that in the black market. Yep. The Ark of the Covenant, people are going to look for that. Yeah. It's also really big and unwieldy. <laughs> it really is. It's really gigantic. You need at least two people to move uh, that But around. yeah, top men are looking at it. Top men. Uh, and yeah, and then. It's Harris, great. <laughs> yeah, Indy's like upset. Uh, and he walks out. He's like, well, Marion, at least we're back together. Now I'm going to knock you up with a kid and ditch you and make you a single mother and be a deadbeat dad. That's a Spo- man's yeah. dream. Yeah. Spoilers for part four. He's a deadbeat dad. Oh, oh, is what's his face? His kid. Yes. Yeah. I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like they, the, the weird I don't thing like is knowing a little more about this movie every day. The weird thing is, remember, yeah. they tried to make it seem like it was a surprise, but everyone going into the movie was like, that's going to be a son. Oh, everybody was like, yeah, that's mm. definitely his son. It was just so obvious. Like, is he in the next one? No. What's his butt? No. I forget his name. No, Shia LaBeouf had oh, yeah. like, kind of like a falling out. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's, he's done. What yeah. about Marion? Because she's still kicking. I don't know. She's not in the trailer. All, right. All we know is it's Indiana Jones. They, they, Sal is there for some reason. Oh, God. And I don't know if he's on the adventure. He probably just has like one cameo. And then uh, his goddaughter, which again is the social justice robot from Solo that everyone hated. Hmm. <sighs> There's something about Indiana Jones having a goddaughter that's a robot that I got very excited about. Just for a second. <laughs> it's it's actually was like, a robot. Wait, is there a robot in this movie? Because I might. I might be more interested. So anyway, it. it ends with them boxing up the Ark of the Covenant. In a and, huge warehouse. And we never see the oh. Ark again, except for in the fourth one. Because it turns out, do you know where the Ark is in the fourth one? That You know what that big warehouse was? It was Area 51. No, are you serious? And there's a shot Guys, in Ark of the la, Covenant. La, 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 la. I don't want to hear are, There's a shot in Crystal Skull where they're fighting in Area 51. And someone shoots a box and it zooms up on the Ark of the Covenant to let you know that it's there. Because if we're not referencing prior yep. movies, then why are we making yep. sequels? Now, the real question uh, is, so World War II happens. And the government... So I've been told. The government... Yes. So my grandfather so told me. Allegedly, World War II happens. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. Uh, depend, if you believe everything they tell you in school, I guess. Oh, my God. Uh, so allegedly it happens. Uh, no, but the whole time it's like, wait. So the government had a magical box that really hates Nazis. Yeah. And they didn't think to use it once. 
There's only a few men looking at it, and I don't know if they died later that week. <laughs> did, I, like, wait, I, did someone forget? I need to Maybe. point out, so you want the American government to use it against the Nazis. If the Americans open that, they're fucking dying too. I don't want anyone to use it, but it's weird that the Americans were like, you know, you know what? We're going to bust in a bunch of uh, scientists, and we're going to try and split atoms. Someone should have been like, we have a box that'll just do it. Can we open the box? I do like to think somebody said that, and then Einstein was like, I've been working on this for so long. You know what? I do like the idea where the American government is like, well, look, I mean, it might come after us, too. Like, just, we, don't have the, we don't have the best exactly. history. Exactly. We don't have the best history ourselves. It's yeah. not really. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I won't be opening it. Uh, poor people's kids will yeah. be opening it, but it, it, it might come after what me. What they should have done, they should have put the box there with the sign that said, open me. And then it would have just, just sent it to Hitler. <laughs> they should have just mailed it just to, take him. Care to Hitler. Package. Yeah. I love like, that. Hitler, by the way, Hitler, you know what? May maybe we were wrong. By the way, by here's the way, here's this nice golden box for you. We heard you were looking for it. We've made it to the end of the review, and I want us all to congratulate. Let me try that again. Congratulate you. <laughs> I'm not knocking no, no, over no, no. your notes. We've made it to the end of the review, and I want us to all congratulate ourselves for not bringing up the fact. If Indiana Jones did nothing, they would have either never found the Ark or it would have made it back to Germany and killed them all. Because everyone is tired of that fact. Did you know that? What camera <laughs> should I be looking into right now? <laughs> oh, okay, great. Did you not know that? If Indiana no, Jones did yeah, nothing. I've, I heard that once or twice. Yeah. We get it. We get it. And we didn't talk about it the entire time. Whatever. Yeah. It's a fucking story. Like... Yes. God damn it. Shut up. I mean, if he didn't Shut do up. anything in any movie, any movie didn't matter, right? Or anything yeah, in exactly. history. If he did like nothing, he, yeah. He's always assisting. Yeah. yeah. Or Let's, anything in history. Honestly, Indiana Jones 5 should be like his goddaughter being like, hey, Uncle Henry, just stay home. Don't do anything. I, there's a time travel yeah. thing. You always fuck stuff right. up. Just, just, just stay here. If he didn't do anything in the third one, that hot Nazi that he was into wouldn't have fallen down and, and Wait, died. Wait, is and Dial everything? of Destiny supposed to be time travel? Yeah. Oh, they're going to de age him, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they've already shown him the thing. Oh, well, there's God. flashbacks to when he was younger fighting Mads Mickelson and then Matt, whatever. Uh, but this movie is great. Yes. It still uh, yeah. holds up. It I does. mean,. If no, you, it does. If you don't mind your hero maybe being a child groomer who's sleeping with a student, it still holds up. The action is top notch. Uh, the effects are great. The effects are great. Yeah, um, yeah there are slower scenes, but, but they, they right. And I'm just saying that from a, a kid's standpoint. Yeah. I watched this with my kids, yeah. So it was interesting to watch yes. them, like when they tuned out and when they got well, back the into it. But they really to, liked it. Again, break up the action scenes. To you make it racer. no, to make it feel more time. to make it feel like a serial where it's like yes. okay, come back next week. Oh, here's another action scene. Okay, and it, it works really, really well. And again, they took something that they loved and they made something new out of it. Yeah, and now we're just recreating what a bunch of boomers loved from the 40s and 50s until the end of time. Right. It's really annoying, but no, it's solid. I love it. It's great. Should we talk about I the agree. new set now? Should, we, should I address the elephant yeah, in the room? Let's do it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just the same it. as it did last time I was here. So without going into too much detail, thanks to viewers like you, I am now making Hack the Movies my full-time gig. I can finally get paid. <laughs> do I get like a guest fee? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. He has all this money now. No, 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 no. no I kind of like this. What are you talking about? Uh, is... I mean, we'll just talk about it. enough we'll talk for gas. Or yes. Something. So I am uh, leaving my job, but still on good terms. I'm going to be doing some freelance stuff for them. Uh, but I thought it was time to take the, the plunge, take the risk. Uh, it's something I always wanted to do. Uh, just to make this my full-time gig. And of course, I'm doing it when YouTube ad revenue is at its all-time low. So patreon.com slash hack the movies. It's very important. <laughs> it's very important. Uh, but yeah, no, thanks everyone for watching the show and supporting the channel. Yeah. Uh, it matters now more than ever, but I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. And yes, I did rebuild the set uh, <gasps> in a new location. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of cool plans coming up. I'm building a new live streaming setup. Uh, we've been doing live episodes, and for the $10 patrons, I'm sending them the StreamYard link if they want to join in at the end oh. of the episode. 
Amazing. You can be on the show. Uh, yes. Yeah, so thanks everyone for the show. I'm excited for the future of Hack the Movies. Uh, you made it all possible. And I love everyone. Doug, where can we find I'm you? I'm excited, first of all, <laughs> yeah. to be the first show in the new it's, it's, studio. It's only because you I, fucking I, jinxed I, me by saying, Tony, I thought we were going to the basement of your house. And then <laughs> a, sure enough, a year later, I'm in the basement of a house. I'd like to think I had a hand in that somehow. Swear to God, don't say anything else. Do not That's say anything else. Guys, you can't find me anywhere. Don't say look for me. Say he's going to be a millionaire so we can actually get no. some money from him. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, yeah. Anyway, where can we find you? Uh, I host a podcast called Good Times, Great Movies. It, it's an 80s movie podcast. What? what? Yes. That's crazy. Now, now, you fans are going to have to wait a while uh -huh. to see what me and Johanna think of Temple of Doom. But if mm. you're sitting there right now, However long this episode is, and you're like, I, and you're and you're like, and you're like, I need to know what Doug thinks oh. of Temple of Doom right now. Yeah. Good news, you covered the movie. I did. Yes. And if you really love it, don't listen to that episode because I'm not being a fan <laughs> of it. So wait, oh, no. <laughs> wait for Tony's episode on it, yes. where I know it's going to be a love fest. Oh, I'm just not, pretty. it's, it's gonna not, be, I'm sorry. But anyway. It's going to be real obnoxious. <laughs> anyway, good times, great movies, whatever. Twitter, Instagram, we have yeah. a Patreon. Um, you know, go find me. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you review the greatest movie ever made, Roadhouse. Roadhouse, with you. With me, with me. Oh, it's man, wonderful. what a great time. Yeah. Johanna, you're on certain websites that YouTube doesn't like to promote, except for when they do, if you're a big enough channel. Like, <laughs> And I heard one of your websites helped you fix your car recently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing to do with some fans. Who fans it's and not, it's not only it's it's um What's only happening? Yeah. <laughs> also, you, YouTube uh, doesn't like uh, yeah. sex workers. Uh, <laughs> uh, Twitch and Twitter, uh, stuff like hearts. Yes, do that. And let us know, are you excited for... Oh, Stuff Like Games is Twitch. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> stuff Like Games is Twitch. Let us know if you're excited for Dial of Destiny, and let us know why you're an idiot for being excited for <laughs> Dial of Destiny. <laughs> Goodbye! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.